¿Qué ¡Ah! vale pelados? My Grito Parques Network les presenta I guess last week we did uh, I read some poems that someone sent us So now I guess uh, They were in Spanish So someone's like Oh yeah Fucking I can do this in English <laughs> So I'm all like Oh fuck Here we go again Alright Well you know what I can't be We can't be like that With the uh, you know with People that want to help the podcast Yeah of course man You know so I'm gonna read a A little poem And this one is called In the realm of grooming In the realm of grooming A brand stands tall Manscaped, the epitome care for all. With razor sharps and trimmer sleek, they cater to the modern man's grooming streak. In a world where elegance meets grace, Manscaped ensures a clean cut embrace. From unruly tufts of wild hair's fray, they scup with precision, night or day. With tools designed with bold and fine, Manscaped's craft of works are art divine. The razors glide like whisper sweet, a symphony of grooming complete. Oh, fearless gent, embrace the quest. To tame your mane, be ever blessed. For in Manscaped's hands, you'll find the key to present your best to be truly free. Confidence blooms in well-groomed pride with every stroke a swag... What is it? A swagger stride. No task too great, no style too grand. Manscaped ensures you all will always stand. Let us raise our blades up high. To Manscaped's artistry we apply. A tribute to grooming. They are all claimed. A brand for man, forever untamed. Yeah. Benjamin yeah. Dover. I'm fucking. Hey, wey. Chat GPT is getting pretty good at writing fucking poems. Right? <laughs> 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 Se pasan, wey. Se pasan. Yeah, apparently, Chat GPT doesn't practice them in the mirror, though, wey. <laughs> <laughs> no, he does, but then, like, at some point, se le pasa. That was good, wey. Yeah. No, and, like, uh, yeah. I think I enjoy the, the, you know, I, I, I think I. Maybe if someone's out there that could do like a like a Spanglish one, it'll be better. Mm. You know, mm. a ver quién se avienta. Pero también I don't want to get that many. A Spanglish one, ¿está cabrón? Yeah. You know? Oh, no, no, the mix. Yeah. The mix. Eso también, if, if someone fucking uh, can learn to write their contractual obligations no, into it's, it. No, it's ready. It's <laughs> oh, ready. Oh, okay. It's ready. But, you know, we're doing a little, <laughs> but the Spang- little banter. The yeah. Spanglish one, I think it's important in what region of the states they're in. Like, yeah. Sometimes... Sometimes they're the Spanglish. Wow. Like, why would you say that word in Spanish? Yeah, that, why would that you? was English. That one should have been in Spanish. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, and they forced it. It's forced. Yeah, so that one's going to be interesting. A ver cómo sale. But, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget, get 20% off free shipping with the code Chicano Shuffle. One word at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use promo code Chicano Shuffle. Unlock your confidence and always use the right tools for the job with Manscaped. Nice. Nice. Hey, estaba listo. Oh. Estaba listo todo. Oh. Take it back. I take it back. 
Yeah. So, este también se aventó, se quiso hacer echar un twofer. All right. So, let's see. Oh, a ver cómo nos va con esta. All right. And maybe I got to tell them to, like, if we get, I mean, we don't mind help, you know, reading and sharing your poems and everything, but fuck, they seem long. <laughs> Pero vamos yeah. a ver. This one is called. Wow, well, it doesn't even have a title, but let's see. In the heart of the wild where the agave grows, a spirit is born where mu mystic essence flows. From ancient lands, a gift to savor and taste, firme mezcal, a treasure, a journey embraced. From rugged hills, a piña's heart it takes, with artisan hands, the process awakes. Roasted and crushed, its soul they release, a dance of tradition, a taste of peace. Through copper and day, the elixir will pass, a metamorphosis, a spirit in mass. Distilled by fire, purifying and refined, firme mezcal, a soulful drink will find. With smoky allure, it beckons and sneer, a sip of the past, a memory dear. From Oaxaca's embrace, it flavors entwine, mystique and adventure in every line. Beneath the moon's glow, we gather to share the magic of mezcal, its stories to bear. In laughter and song, its spirit takes flight. Firme mezcal, a symbol of pure delight. With every sip, a connection is found to the land of its people forever bound. In each ever drop, the legacy told, firme mezcal, a tale to unfold. So let us raise our glasses and reverence we toast to the spirit of mezcal, a gift we love most. In the fire's embrace, its secrets reside, firme mezcal, forever our guide. Benjamin Dover. Ay, wey. Pinche Benjamin. Yeah. Uh. Se avienta. Se avienta. I mean, it's, it's, it's good. But yeah, you know what? A ver si tenemos a... I want to listen out there that could maybe combine, you know, the both languages. If you want some of this magic elixir, though, where yeah. do you go, bro? For this magic elixir, you would have to go to Firme Mezcal, either on Instagram or you could go to their webpage, FirmeMezcal.com. So on Instagram is at Firme Mezcal. You can find the links on our um, on our bio. Está bueno, güey. Yeah, está bueno. Give them a follow, check them out, you know, and then, like, if you have any questions or anything, you can reach out to them. They're, like, pretty good. They're responding. Si te pone a cantar, güey. Yeah, you know. And then, um, so, también tenemos, uh, ya ves, que tenemos a uh, Hasa Chingazos también, right? So, just so that you know, this is Abuelita Approved, and they celebrate la raza y cultura con corazón. All right? So they got three years and thousands of happy mijas, tías, abuelos, chingones y chingones. They thank you. Creating clothing that speaks to the experience and it's all beautiful local forms. Not local, L-O-C-A-L, but loco, como loco. Ay, wey, estoy loco. Yeah. Está the, loca. Their struggles and the humor are the hard to wear with orgullo. All right? For the mijas, for, for the mijas, for the mijos and mijas, that are both from both worlds, 100% Latino, 100% American. Sing Enchante, when you get lit, grilling the most bomb asada, and from the one spot that you go chilling out with the family and amigos, why not, you know, support and help out um, House of Chingazos? You know, that's, that's basically what they have in their, their, like, mission statement or their page. That's how they present themselves. So you can also find them on our links. Go to House of Chingazos, check out their products, check out their shirts, and, you know, you won't be disappointed. They got good stuff. I think uh, Fernando right now is wearing a shirt. Oh, it's a no. collab with uh, Hazo Chingazos and uh, Magrito. It's that way, Simon way. No lies. No lies. Yeah, and fucking. Guess the promo code, way. The promo code is ch one word Chicano Shuffle. And, All right. and si lo pones, you get charged an extra 10% so that we can buy some pan dulce. Oh, shit. <laughs> nice. I don't know. It's a reverse. Something like that, no? I guess. But, I mean, asada, yeah, but la carne asada, but definitely, uh, you know, it's uh, support, you know, they're, um, we like to support small businesses, but I mean, we like to support raza business, or we like to support like, people that are coming up and, and, and happening, you know, so why not um, give them a look, check them out, give them a look, give them a try, nothing hurts, what well, does it? I don't know, wait, does it hurt, wait? No, I don't think it does. How tight is this shirt? No, they're pretty, they're pretty good, I mean. Um, right. I mean, how, how do you feel, friends? That's it. It's comfortable, win. Yeah, it's a good, a good tela, good material. So, definitely give them a good check out. And uh, don't forget, Rasa, that means you know, help your support your local caffeine dealer. You know, again, it's a coffee. Eh? Like in un cafecito, no cae mal. Even though it's hot weather, you could do a nice cold brew or you could do a nice little iced coffee. Chale yellow one. Yeah, it's todo. So no hay nada. You get your little, you get your little kicky sass. But bueno, todo, you can find them on our links on uh, chicanoshuffle.com and, you know, you go there and it'll direct you straight to this, to 
to our sponsors. And remember, promo promo code is Chicano Show for one word. And the links are on the ins- Instagram bio thing. Yeah. Órale pues. Y con eso, le damos al show. So, ¿Cómo estamos, cabrones? Good, güey. Pinche calorón. Fuck. Al 100. I, I, um, pasadito. I reinvested in pinche talco, bro. I had a gotcha, talco. bitch. No, <laughs> güey. <laughs> you use talco, güey? Yeah, I use talco en los yeah. huevos. I reinvested. Just en los huevos? Yeah. Oh, shit. Sure. Yeah, that's what I needed the most. Does it really help? Yeah, it does. Uh, but, yeah. I mean, to a certain point, because ya luego, ya fucking pinche the moist. Overtakes. Y, Unless y, you're reapplying, then you're okay, but. Y no, no tienes miedo a los side effects. ¿Cuáles side effects? The ones that the. How many fucking hundreds of thousands of women that sue because they give them fucking cancer or some shit? <laughs> Están en los huevos, wey. Yeah, but they're putting down there too, wey, but for the same reason you do. Huh? That's not testicular cancer, not a thing? <laughs> shit, I don't know. <laughs> no? You can't no, get it's baby powder. Cancer. It's baby powder. This yeah. guy's saying that it's dangerous. They though. sued him. And I, the, whatever was in there, I think it, they took it out way a long time ago. Pero. Fuck, fucking Fernie has a stand, no way. But I'm saying, the, <coughs> I don't know, way. There's when, when I guess when it had the, the whatever product it was, I wasn't using talc? it. Yeah, talc. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, so. <laughs> all right. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> fucking Dave is going to jump in there and he's going to start talking because we keep having this conversation. I'm like, I grew up knowing that it's talco. Yeah. You know, we we didn't call it baby powder. No, I'm saying no. the the ingredient, pues. Yes, es talco because it's, it's talco. Tal- yeah, mm-hmm. pero en en español cualquier persona que dice hey, tienes talco, you, they know what you're talking about. Yeah, they're not gonna get specific like, oh no, eso ya eso eso, eso es canceroso o, o eso es peligroso. No, aquí no tenemos eso. No, no, mm-hmm. tenemos pinche maicena si quieres. Mm-hmm. Ah. <laughs> but you do go with the the, the Johnson and Johnson yeah. or, the, or the adult gold uh, the, bond. Uh, it doesn't matter. I mean, I just get whatever's there. Like the gold bond, I used to have one that was refreshing. I, I didn't like it. Oh. Right way, the uh, mental fucking. Yeah, flavor. it was just like oh <laughs> fuck, yeah. it was just weird. But doesn't it get on your shirt and shit like the powder. No, I put I put it on my balls, bro. I put oh, it on my shirt. Balls, oh. <laughs> I put it on my shirt. <laughs> yeah, but <pero> tus manos. <laughs> you wash them. Oh, all right. Yeah, you wash them. We're up. just curious, way. It's like a lot of work. <laughs> we're, we're no, to, it's not. It's like they put us a little handful on it. We're trying to engage and in your interest. And then you like you 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 lightly <laughs> you lightly fucking couple los huevitos dun, 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 and then does it lead to to anything and then you else? Wash your hands. No te emocionas. <laughs> no, no, no. no. No, it's not. It's I'm the not, morning, way. He's probably rushing already. No, it's just too relaxed, way. In the morning, yeah, you can knock one out pretty quick. Yeah, you yeah. could, but <laughs> con talquito, no, como que no, way. No, yeah, I don't know. It, it doesn't remind me of like a breaded chicken or something. Chicamero, empanizado, way. Todo mojado. <laughs> the flour gets a little wet. <laughs> no, no, no. It's uh, it's in the morning. So even though in the mornings, I don't know about you. I don't know what time you wake up, but it's that's already really warm. Yeah, it's warm. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, by the time I fucking I'm taking off and everything, I'm like fuck, I'm even turning on the AC and the fucking the mamalona. Do you wear a hat or no? No, no, no. Do you wear sunblock in your face? Yeah, I have a the banana boat, uh, the spray. Yeah. <laughs> Once you wear you like those Mortal Kombat hats? Uh, <laughs> no, Mortal I don't Kombat. Like, hats. I don't like wearing hats. I got one of but those. But I was telling Fernie though, like maybe I might hope maybe I should ahorita en este pinche verano maybe not use product on the fucking hair because ya con el pinche sol you're you're sweating so it's like oh, yeah. se, 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 me está, se me deshace el pinche peinado wey wey pero esas gorras no, no those long ones those big ones you don't think it doesn't el paro working yeah, outside yeah I'm sure but your hair is more important I think so <laughs> his, his look. no but but then um, his look wey but then uh, like at the, at the same time I feel like uh, like the little dome on the hat como que it cooks up your head no como que te lo calienta más it's like it gets trapped in there no the heat I don't know where I think a lot of people that have those hats they they fucking they always say that they're good when less than el paro like the construction guys wear them a lot yeah I know the gardener dudes wear them a lot too roofers roofers yeah just está cabrón with the heat fucking I don't know how people don't wear hats when they're working outside I don't know how you do it where you fuck yeah pues, ya ves all the, the all the fucking paisas you see out there doing they have the fucking hat way yeah and some of them even have like a full fucking face mask, like everything, the head, the front. Le, le ponen the, the little towel, no? Like the a ski wet. mask, yeah. But on the back, sometimes in the front. But yeah. the one that, like, remember, like we were talking about one long time ago, where you wet it or whatever, and it yeah, fucking cools you down too long way. That's what I have. 
It's just the one that goes up and then I have a hat on because fuck that shit gets hot right? Yeah. But you use the fancy one. They just put a fucking cut t yeah, shirt. Cut t shirt. El trapo que usa para secarse las manos. I just those hats for me, like at work, it never really interests me because like I need to get into some spaces and the hat gets in the, get in the way. way. Yeah, it's yeah. gonna get in the way for sure. It's good like if you're working with a lot of space, yeah. like construction or whatever. Yeah, I don't I'm sometimes I don't have that much space either. Mm. You know, but I'm in and out. Yeah. I'm on like outside, I'm inside the business or the, the residence or whatever it is. So I'm in and out a lot. So but not one picture of some on. Come on now. Do you get in, you go into people's homes? Yeah. Yeah. Businesses también. Sometimes it does, but you know what? Sometimes people understand though. Yeah. <clears throat> it's hot. <laughs> it's hot And you know lately Like a lot of people Have been offering Like water Drinks Oh yeah And the other day I'm like No no thanks <laughs> They're oh, testing yeah. you bro. Yeah I know right Like no but I'm not like in a, But I'll see uh, and I uh, trust me, it was one of those who like, fuck, if it had been a Michelin, I'm like, maybe I'll take it to go. <laughs> but now I'm like, nah, Do your own probation, bro. No, 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 no te creas. I'm not yeah, going to. fucking. No, you know, I, mean, I don't even drink, though. That's the thing. Yeah. You, know? yeah. you stop drinking? No, it's just like, I don't. No me, yeah, pero no me llama la atención. But none of that is new to you, where you were already a tech right? Yeah. Before, but, so I don't understand. But no, but now it's like, you know, like it was one of those, like it was really hot. Mm -hmm. Like it, when I was a tech before, it was it used to get hot and there used to be some hot days, but these fucking days right now are like holy shit, no mames. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that, I mean, we're talking about like what a handful of degrees we get subida, but now you're away from the, the ocean breeze. Yeah, that's I true. Think that's is a good point. Is, yeah, that's now, probably what it is. Now yeah. you're closer to the valley way than. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, so now you're, you're just in a hotter area way. Yeah. yeah, it's it's concentrated right there. No, 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 brisa. Yeah. Porque it used to get hot up there too, way, but. Pero tú tenías el aire del aire del mar. Yeah, that is a huge difference, man. Yeah, because I remember when we've talked about it many times, way when when they send me like on loan to to like Irwindale way. Fucking no, chingues, way. <laughs> Como chillaba yo to like in my brain, like just walking from the from the truck to the fucking house or whatever to the porque quemaba, the, the other thing that's that's kind of makes it worse when you're working under the sun like that is cuando estás batallando, way. Like you get oh, more yeah. irritated like easily, bro. If something's if you fuck up something or something's not working the way you planned that it was gonna work, salen pedos, way. For some reason, it really tests your patience, yeah. way. Because you're sweating, it's hot as fuck. Y estás batallando with this thing, like sometimes. For us, sometimes we need to like step away, where like, yeah, take a little like yeah, yeah, just go fucking buy a snack at the store and come back. <laughs> Holy shit, that's no. okay. Yeah. I, I, not like that, but all right. Yeah, well, so, sometimes you gotta. I mean, that, that sounds pretty firme, way they yeah. wouldn't, they didn't let us do that, yeah. but that sounds pretty firme. <laughs> yeah, my job is different. No, but I'm saying that 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 pues algo si te, si te saca, pues yeah. you go, you got fucking. A Reese's peanut and butter it, cup. And it does help, where Because then you come... Ah, oh, wey, aquí está, pendejo. Like, it does yeah. really help, wey, to kind of come out and then come back in. Because you easily can be focused on one thing. And then if you don't give yourself that space, wey, ahí vas a batallar fucking sudado. Yeah, it happens when it's hot, when you're rushing it, when it's hot, or you're trying to get it away from the sun. But I mean, when it's raining, mm -hmm. you're like, you're trying to rush it, but you're not getting a mujer. Yeah. And like, fuck, and then everything fucking... You set the resbala, or no agarras, so you can't... Yeah. Fight, especially in places where you can't see it and you're relying on tactic and uh, like in touch yeah <clears throat> <laughs> 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 no, like, what are you doing like but I, I I sometimes end up fucking closing even my eyes just trying to see you like where the fuck they're like ah aquí estás hijo de tu puta fucking uh, uh, clairvoyant way no that, that's some bedroom tactics <laughs> that, that's a blind fury bro <laughs> they call them the G spot I in the hallway I mean the G spot <laughs> why do you call them a G spot because that guy can put a bolt fucking without even looking bro yeah and fucking with his eyes closed <laughs> cierra los ojos <laughs> off you yeah he's a savant <laughs> <laughs> brings those bedroom skills to the fucking work <laughs> <laughs> no, they fucking no, but it's uh, you know, so it's it's pretty fun, it's pretty fun, but the heat does not help. The fucking heat, ahorita, ta cabron, and like I can only can only imagine how, like, you know, the people, like, especially the ones that work out in the in the on the outside environment, like in Texas or Arizona and fucking New Mexico, no, no chingas, we, yeah, it's ta cabron, we. Or even like the people that I mean, we were pretty fucking lucky that we have access to AC and shit like that. But there's some people that don't. No, no, sé si por no gastar feria, wey, because the electricity goes up and they can't afford it. But just imagine like being in Texas or Arizona without having AC, wey. Like some of these little places on the people están matando. Yeah. 
Because you get cranky, way. It's fucking one of those things, way. It's no joke. It's true. Yeah, you get cranky as fuck, way. <clears throat> yeah, way. I'm pretty sure you... <laughs> I think it's what? During the summer, like a lot of... There's a lot of fucking tempers flare, right? There's a lot of more... Not violence, but there's a lot of more aggression going on, no? Well, I mean, that, that could be also attributed to people drinking more beer and getting more intoxicated, way. Because I think it's a crazy stat way that uh, a beer or being drunk is is correlated with a lot of rapes a lot of fucking murders a lot of like really like uh like things like that where a lot of alcohol is mostly involved in a lot of those fucking cases way to imagine mm -hmm. like alcohol way what it does to you i think alcohol is one of those things where that you know how now we're scared of everything like with ai oh no i don't want ai because this that I feel like alcohol is one of those things that if if they were to introduce that right now, nobody would. The, a lot of people wouldn't want that because they would talk about what it can cause, like mm -hmm. sugar. Way I heard some some doctor talk about sugar, that if sugar was somehow introduced right now, like a lot, it wouldn't even make the cut. We wouldn't use it as much. We wouldn't use it. Yeah, a lot of people wouldn't. Yeah. So I, I think mean, alcohol is one of those things that if if it was introduced now, I don't think it would. Tobacco. It. Tobacco, también. Yeah. <laughs> well, I I think también other factors like I was telling. Ramon, last time when we were talking about the heat, the, the, your your body, your your blood, pues, your heart starts pumping blood to the rest of your body, trying to cool you down, way, and start and pumps less to your brain, way. Mm -hmm. So that's why you get fucking a little delirious, you get a little no. fucking dizzy. No. So same thing, where you're not thinking clearly, porque your your fucking heart's trying to fucking keep you cool instead of yeah. thinking you're you're fucking. So yeah, you're not thinking clearly, pues. So yeah, your como dice, what's the, what they call it, your. Car your lizard brain takes over away. Like your oh, fucking salvaje brain. Fucking lengua. No, well, you know how they call it lizard brain because you get all salvaje or whatever. Mm, like you yeah. fucking, I had never heard that. I yeah. never heard lizard brain. Mm. But you also said like sometimes like when, when you get through the heat exhaustion and everything, most likely you're you're most likely to die of cardiac arrest. Than, That's than what I was saying. Because well, right? same thing, because your heart starts working so hard trying to fucking, it literally pushes like your blood towards the closest to your skin to try to cool everything down. Way. Cool down your blood, cool down your skin. Instead of your brain, so it starts pumping less and less. It prioritizes your the the blood to your brain less so than like just to get in circulating to cool you down. With kind of like when well, you sweat, way same thing. Yeah. Everything's working overtime, and your heart will give out way before you fucking melt, like we say. Way and that that's why we're, we like I guess um, if you think about it, plancha science kicks in right now. Por qué crees que fucking en el calor hacen caldo de res? Shit, because I think that that's supposed to help you sweat, I mean, you know, to keep your body cool. Mm, is that the theory? I think so. Mm -hmm. I don't know about that one. Yeah, because you, you're eating fucking hot soup and you're, you're sweating. But like supposedly, that like, como que el sweat, como que, si está sudando and it's inconvenient, but it's cooling your body también, isn't it? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. You know what? Dijo esa, eso, eso lo lo Ramon so, no, so this is this I heard it at a fucking at a job site. Okay. <laughs> so so, no, no, no. So I'm like, holy shit! You know what? That kind of makes sense. I could, yeah. I could see that happening, and, and, it, and it was all fucking paisas. So I was uh I was at a fucking place. It was like um. So that's in muebles, right? Una carpinteria. So I had this the the dedicated this man to fucking take me to places to check the appliances and everything, right? So, so you know, for the sake of this, let's just call him Don Mauricio, right? Mm, for the no. sake of the conversation. So we start going, and all of a sudden, he just starts. He gets comfortable with me, right? Older guy, old seventies, and he starts telling me that he got here when he was like twenty four, clutching a. So he starts telling me, like, uh, we're in Hollywood, so there's a couple of guys passing by, and then he starts talking shit. And he thought I was going to go along with it, right? He's all like, yeah, nomás vienen para acá, y luego le sale lo, lo ¿cómo dijo? Le sale lo, because he, he wasn't even vulgar, but le, le sale lo, lo, lo travieso or something like that. I'm like, ah, ¿qué se refiere? Ah, mira, estos dos muchachos, y que se like, ah, pues yo, la mera verdad, se me hace bonito. Mm -hmm. You know, like, he looked at me. Oh, like a gay couple? Yeah, it was a gay couple. Oh. And it's like, he looks at me, I'm like, a lo mejor si se vienen para acá, depende de donde crecen o donde, you know, where they're raised at, that they can't express themselves. So, yeah, a lot of people come out here where it's accepted. Yeah. And I think that's beautiful. And then he starts, I'm like, yeah. And then all of a sudden he starts going into, like, religious talk. I like, honestly, if you're, I was telling him, I just treat people like I want to be treated, you know, mm -hmm. it's a golden rule. So, a mí no me, a mí no me afecta en lo, en lo menos. ¿no? ¿Y usted le afecta? Y dice, no, pues es que en la, en la Biblia dice esto. Pero digo, en personal, ¿a usted le afecta? ¿En qué manera le afecta? 
So we start going and then eventually, you know, I'm telling my shit and then he's like, oiga, usted debería hacer un pinche, como dijo, una... No me dijo sacerdote, me dijo un pastor. Usted debería ser un pastor. Yeah, he knows. And I'm all like, nah, le digo nada, ni madres, porque yo soy de los peores. Let me tell you. He says, let me tell you. Don Mauricio. What you can my church. Uh, turn to a cult. <laughs> Tengo unas cosas que decirle. <laughs> Hay que predicar. <laughs> oh, shit. So, so he starts going up and, you know, so then I'm like, no que lo convencí, but I just told him, like, they don't affect, they don't, I don't think they bother you in the absolute. There's, there's some, like, you, me, we're not free of sin. I told him, nosotros estamos, somos los peores, le digo. You know, and I started including myself in there. Somos los peores porque juzgamos sin conocer a la gente ni nada. Y yo creo que eso, pues, si lee la Biblia, pues no, no vale tampoco juzgar. Yeah. And then he's all like, oh, then he's like thinking about it. Like, oh, shit, you're right. You know? I'm like, ah, you know, whatever. <laughs> so, así pasa, whatever. right? <laughs> así pasa. So, eventually, he like, como que le baja, le baja de su yeah. bichi gallo, right? Well, this was a cork or no? no that was showing yeah, you. Yeah, right? was, yeah, yeah, it was a job site. So, then, so we go back because I'm done. So, we start going. And then they have like this little, like, man, little kid. I would say he's like 26, 27. Pero es, es su güerito. <laughs> little kid. He's like 30. I know. <laughs> He has a family with three kids. <laughs> He's been through a lot of shit, right? Yeah, know, right? But, family with little kids. He's like around 30. But he looks, he looks very young, right? You I guess he was an apprentice in, the, in, a, in a fucking... Um, in the in the furniture store, mm -hmm. so he's in a pregnancy. Okay, so he's asking somebody for the glue, right? Like, ¿dónde está el pegamento and everything? Ah, que la chingada. Then, mira tu pinche cara de meco. Holy <laughs> shit! That man you were talking to, <laughs> yeah. he called him a cara de meco. I guess that's what they call a meco. Wow, <laughs> that, that that adds up. <laughs> I start laughing because I'm like, that computes. I haven't heard that fucking expression <laughs> in years. Cara de meco. <laughs> <laughs> El meco, güey. <laughs> I think because he's light skinned or because he's chiquillo. You uh, know, compared to everybody else both, there. Wey, that's a good combo. Both, yeah. yeah. El meco. <laughs> yeah. It's a bitch. Meco sperm for all you yeah. no habla español out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let, let me check the calculator. Yep. Yep. It adds up. It adds up. <laughs> Yep. Si calcula, like, I, gotta, I gotta remember this, dude. <laughs> I haven't heard that one forever. Like, if you wanted to fucking, you want to piss somebody off, you either call them chuntis or meco. <laughs> Chacha, bitch. <laughs> hey, tú, cállate, pinche chuntis. Chuntis. Hey, chuntis. <laughs> chunt. <laughs> hey, tú, meco. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> When was the last time you heard it or used it? Oh, meco? Yeah. No, it's been a long time. <laughs> It's been, a, it's been a while. It's an oldie, right? It's an oldie, old but one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I say we bring it back, Stabs. Meco? Now nah, we'll get canceled, bro. You think so? Yeah. Yeah, tampoco gacha, güey. I gotcha. I, I, I like how uh, two minutes before this, you're preaching to this dude that we should accept everybody. Know, and, then, <laughs> and then you're laughing at some kid called Meco. Then you're high-fiving him no. for Meco. <laughs> I, I don't think the... It's one of those where like, holy <laughs> shit, I forgot about this word. I don't think I the... forgot about this. Some fucking... people say, as you should. As you should. <laughs> no, but it's funny because I got them in the el, el, como dije, como se, uh, we were going to call oh, Mauricio uh, but good, you know he's preaching and he's all like you know and judging and everything and rato he's all like hey tu meco <laughs> <laughs> but it's funny because like when you told them is pretty uh, pretty basic fucking Gary V shit and, <laughs> and, the, and the fact that how old is this man it hit hard uh, was, Fifties, uh, six, yeah, no, sixty, like in the sixties. So imagine, like in your sixties, that 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 hit, yeah. and it's like not doesn't take much critical thinking, where it's yeah. just you know, like dissecting, <laughs> peeling, peeling one layer of that onion, where, and all of a sudden he's like, oh shit, sure, yeah. yeah. But his whole life he's been fucking <laughs> shitting on the gays. Yeah, no one's everything. ever peeled that that layer. <laughs> Hey, you, know, you should have a TikTok fucking. I know. And maybe I because it's TikTok, like, bro. it goes back to like who you surround yourself with. If you're always around people that are like shitting and talking shit or whatever, not not someone that. So I said like, hey, maybe it's not okay to do that. A lot of people don't challenge their opinions, right? A lot of people are like, yeah, all right. Yeah, I feel the same. Mm -hmm. Or they were just like, I'm not going to get into it with this dude. So they they never really been challenged, right? Yeah. Yeah, and for me, it wasn't even like going against them. I was just giving them my opinion. I'm like, and then it's just a regular conversation. And I and and in any part, I wasn't trying to like be like you know, 
offensive to him, right? And I'm like, I was just telling him, like, it doesn't bother me. And I'm like, yeah, you know what, everybody, como le digo, como dice mi papá, cada quien puede ser de su culo un papalote. You know? Jesus yeah, Christ. but your dad's views are probably closer yeah, to that guy's. Yeah, your dad, exactly. know, so, uh, your dad, yeah, he's not gonna. I, 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 take the good, I take the bad, bro. I take them both. It's a, it's but it's a, a religious thing where you think, I, like, like yeah. our parents, like, not really being uh, open to, like, gay marriages and stuff. You think it's because of the church or do you think it's just, like, a cultural thing? It's, it's, uh, it's mainly church. Mm. But it's I mean, mainly that, church. that's kind of both, no? Because, I mean, it is kind of both. Yeah, you're right. But it doesn't I mean, mean they go to church, but. You, we grew up with that as part of our culture by that at this point, Wayne. Yeah, but it was instilled by the church, though. This is still by a church, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, it, it, because culturally, I mean, we we did, before before we got, like, invaded by the Span, Spaniards or whatever, we didn't, I, I don't think there was a moral issue with, you know, with a lot of things. It's mm -hmm. just you went with nature, whatever, whatever nature wanted or whatever nature gave you. No. But at some point they started introducing like, oh, no, this is a sin. This is bad. Or oh, you have to, you can't do this or you can't do that because, you know, in the eyes of the Lord. So a lot of people started, you know, once you got colonized, once you got brainwashed. Oh, well, not brainwashed, but once you guys yeah, started yeah, getting brainwashed, all right. Once word. you got, you, once you start getting all these um, other teachings, and then it becomes part of your culture. But it wasn't your culture to begin with. Yeah, I just think our, our parents are stubborn way. Like you try to have a conversation like that, and it's like they already think like that. Like I've tried having conversation with my parents about stuff like that. That'll, that'll be a little bit more open minded on certain things, and it's just. At some point, I think people just say, I'm not going to change my ways. This is how I am. Yeah. You deal with it. And uh, I don't think yeah. that that's a good way. It, it's, I guess it's because it's difficult to start changing your, your points of view and everything. And como te digo, change, and like we said, it, change is not easy. Mm -hmm. Change is hard. And at some point, they're like, yeah, I'm not going to deal with this. I'm not going to change. I'm, I'm comfortable the way I am. But I don't think they even really question it because that's how you're taught. You're taught that church is this and church is that. And, and you're taught not to question it. It's just what it is, right? Because, I mean, if you really look into that, that um, the Bible, whatever, or if, I don't think the Bible says anything about homosexuality, way, right? But that they say that, that that's not a, what God wants. It, it's because you can't procreate if you're in a, like a traditional kind of, you can adopt and all that. I'm not saying you can't be a parent. But the church, you're not going to grow numbers in the church if, if you're in the same sex marriage. You can't have kids, way. So that's why the church is yeah. not into that stuff. It's not that it's ethically immoral or it's just wrong. It's just that to the church, you're useless because you're not going to create more followers. So why don't we yes. go a little step further with that, though? So if you don't have more followers, that means you have no more donations. Yeah. So if you have no more donations, then like... That's what you're saying, you die off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but um, I mean, it, it is in the Bible way, but like I've, I brought up before, way, it, it's literally in, in the same lines as divorce, being greedy, fucking like judging people, being fucking a goloso, like... Echándote la vecina. So, but they ignore all the other ones around their way and they yeah. just pick the one. Yeah. This is the one that's bad. Pero, hey, no estás divorciado because that falls in the same category, cabrón. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, que no te echaste el lechero? That one también falls well, into it. Aren't you an adulterer? Because that, yeah. that's, you're in the same category, cabrón. Didn't you start a rumor about the fucking, you know, your comadre over there? Like, fucking, al rato salió fucking stoned to death? Well, yeah. That one's on you. I mean, there's a famous Gandhi quote that says, if it was an eye for an eye, the whole world would be blind, way. Yeah. I mean, everybody has... <laughs> Everybody has something that people can criticize with him. I just think it's crazy that people criticize other people and not acknowledge that yeah. that they have shit themselves. Yeah, it's just that's we're not perfect. We're all sinners, and that's that. You know, that's the human condition, dog. It is, eh? Hablando de the church. Aquí los si no si si no no hubiera podcast, eh? No no hubiera nada, eh? Seriously. Fucking hablando de church, fucking you you heard that uh, Sinead O'Connor passed away, right? Mm hmm. The, like, do you think because she had a good career going, and at some point her career faltered when she ripped the the picture of the Pope? No. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, the dry throat. Fucking, I the good Lord, me está me está tacando la garganta, güey. <clears throat> She's like, so, I got your mic right here. So I'm thinking, I'm like, if she would have waited longer, because I think uh, she, you think she chose the wrong Pope because it was John Paul II. Everybody loved John Paul II. Yeah. You know, if it would have been one of the new ones, you think she would have gotten this fucking this much, this much, um, I guess, blacklisted? I don't think so, because I mean, we live in <clears throat> definitely in different times where like I think people are more they can pretty much 
be more vocal about their issues with certain things like religion and like politics and stuff. And I think in those days, um, it wasn't really like accepted way. Like I think the church still had a lot of like social power. Not that it doesn't anymore, but I, f- I feel like if she would have done that now, I don't think uh, I don't think she would have gotten all that shit. Yeah, she wouldn't have, right? She would have been edgy. Yeah, it would have been like, oh yeah, good for her. Yeah, but I mean, it's like it's, it's like one of those were like. Like, you know, John Paul II, everybody likes that guy, you know? Like, he's really cool. <laughs> Imagínate being that vato, like, you know, you hung out with fucking John Paul. It's like, like, ese vato es a toda madre, güey. We fucking, yeah. we share some tosti locos over there fucking at the Sistine Chapel. Wey. Yeah. Right, wey. You know? <laughs> some tosti <laughs> locos. <What? laughs> Just don't share because ese cabrón se los chinga todos, you know? Yeah. But if it would have been the new ones, like the Francis, or I don't know what the, I think it's the Pope Francis, or I don't even follow the Popes anymore. Ay, wey. I know, right? Si hubiera sido like, hey, you know, ese vato, hey, you know, don't fucking, no juegues blackjack con él, no juegues 21 con ese cabrón porque es medio tranza. Yeah, I mean, look at, look at, um, look at what happened with the Beatles when they said that they were bigger than Jesus. I mean, they got a lot of shit for oh, that. Yeah. And I think if you say that now, I mean, people wouldn't. Uh, I think it would be a bigger deal now, Wayne. You think so? But look, well, especially here, Wayne. I mean, look, aquí, aquí ya están usando literally religion for to excuse all a lot of shit way look at it, all, all the policies that they're trying to put put the point in religion behind que, oh, que, that, que moral que moral this and moral that mm-hmm. so you're losing for excuse for everything way so now ya ves you get canceled if you fucking do this thing you get canceled to do that if you fucking si hablas algo que, que not moral in their eyes fucking I see the Christian values type of shit I mean they fucking te dan duro way I think it's different way because I mean obviously I wasn't around in the 60s way but I, I think I think um, historically or, or I don't know maybe maybe I'm off on this but I feel like right now religion is really it, 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 it got so politicized like when I think about religion in a political sense if I really think about how people view religion I would think that most people Associate Republicans with like being more into like church and mm. religion stuff and, and Christian, yeah, that stuff. So I feel like if people are gonna get upset, it's it's uh, everything's political now. And in those days, it wasn't really like that. So I think if people were gonna get upset, it would be one sector of a political view. And in those days, I don't I don't know if if religion was so much that oh it's a Republican thing or it's a, I think it was more kind of intertwined mm. between both parties, no way. I mean, now, when you think about a Christian or religion group, you don't think a Democratic Party or somebody that's... You think conservative. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying. But now everybody, they're they're, like, they're tan más chiquitos because religion is shrinking, but their voices are louder because we have more avenues to fucking say our mamadas, you know? So, like, the the smaller voices are fucking now amplified. Well, ya ves que se hacen desmadre over shit and... It turns out it's it's like you're saying, like a little small group that's fucking complaining. Pero se arma un pinche desmadrote, güey. Salen todas las noticias because they got to fucking hype it up to... Because they need content, güey. Yeah, yeah, maybe. But I, I just feel like it, it it wouldn't be as big of a deal as it was in those days. But, I mean, obviously I could be wrong. It's just a different different society now than, than what that shit was going on, güey. Está cabrón, güey. Yeah, we, we live in a... A lot, a lot of people lost their faith in like church and like religion and stuff. And is that and a good or bad way? What do you think? I mean, it's. It, I think anything is good or bad. Where it just depends on how you look at it. I feel like, I feel like what church did for a lot of people is is it gave them a sense of community, and that's what people still long for is a community. So you find communities, little pockets of, like your niche hobbies or your political views or your. You just you try to find people that you can build a community with, but I think a lot of a lot of the times church gave a lot of people purpose, and I I don't feel like a lot of people have a lot of purpose now. So I feel like it's good and bad. I can't really say that it's a good or a bad thing. I feel like it just depends on the person. I I mean, my 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 views have uh, have changed even during what we've been doing this podcast on that. But I think yeah, like you're saying, way. We always looking for community. You're always looking for a little group to hang out with, pretty much way. Or like we're saying, like fucking have those conversations way about your fucking guitar way or whatever, you know, like fucking little details on the guitar and someone else that's gonna fucking find that interesting. Same thing, like religion, where you find a community. And the fucking but I think now el pedo now is que what what's changed even more so kind of kind of going at maybe it went backwards way, because I mean they religion forced fucking, yeah, like we talk fucking Los Aztecas and everybody were in fucking Mexico. Mm-hmm. But I think it's reverting to shit like that where 
where now we're going back to they feel like they have to fucking they don't feel like they're forcing it on you. They feel like they're saving you, supposedly. Yeah, they do your favor. Pero te lo están forzando. Instead of just yeah. fucking, I found my community. Find yours. Aquí stars. If si quieres llegarle, llegarle. Yeah. No way. No. Le tienes que llegar a mi community. Because yeah. si te quieres salvar, aquí está la salvación. Through, through, are you talking about like a, from religious point of view? Oh, I'm saying like you, you the, 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 like a church. Th that they're more heavy handed now, pues, you know? But you don't think that that's a society where that would everything? Like, if I'm Republican, I want you to think like a Republican. Mm. If I'm this, I want you to... I, I feel like society, that's just the society that we're in. Is, yeah, well, that, that, that's what I'm saying. That's the problem, pues. As a, before, at least growing up, pues, no se sentía as forzado. Maybe because, like I'm saying, that the voices are amplified, maybe. Could it be, though, también because we were younger? We were... No le poníamos tanto atención. No, no, we didn't see the, the severity mean, of it because for us, like, eh, whatever. They still came and knocked and shit, right? you know, like the los otros no, not even, not. Oh yeah, I haven't had the knocks I guess since COVID. Uh, but uh, I think I now I think about it, it might be like I was saying earlier okay, maybe it's so amplified now way okay, it feels más forzado maybe. Hmm. ¿Entiendes? But I, I, that's the part I feel bad because now I kind of see it como like you're exactly like you're saying que okay, people are looking for community way and and si te ayuda in that way you know fucking if, if it makes you a better person that way pues chido way but as soon as you start forcing that. Outside your your community, que a huevo, it yeah. has to be my way or the yeah. highway, fucking Dios or fucking te fuck a la verga contigo, then that turns into a problem. Right? It does, yeah. I mean, it happens with uh, diets, where right? workouts, oh, I'm this, you should be this too, or what are you eating that for? I mean, we literally argue about what we eat, way. Right? I mean, that's insane, way. Right? <laughs> like, we're literally arguing about what we should be eating, way, right? instead of just. Wait, people want to eat like that? Let them eat like that. If it helped you, it helped you. But there's no need to be preachy about it. I mean, and I feel like we're just we're just like that with everything. Right? And I don't even think it should be that we need to convince people. I think you should be more that you should understand why a person thinks like that. Like, I wouldn't want you to agree with everything I say, but I would love for you to at least understand why I'm saying what I'm saying. It doesn't mean that you agree with it. But if we just understood why people feel a certain way, I think we would be a different society too, where it's like, I don't, I don't agree with the lifestyle this person's having or their choices, but I completely understand why they're doing that. Cause I would do the same if I was in their shoes. I think that would make a huge difference instead of trying to convince somebody that my way is the way you should do it. I feel like we would be a different society with him. Yes. I mean, yeah, I, I, I think, the more I think about it right now, like, I mean, just sitting down right here, right, the pinching, I think it, it is that way. And now we see more of everything, no? Our, we definitely think about things more than our parents did from face value. If I don't remember my parents really ever thinking much about anything like that. They just kind of... It was just like told, day by day. They're told what to think and then they went with that. They followed the news or they followed whatever the doctor told them. And it wasn't really that you question everything or like, wait. Why is that? It's just kind of, you just did it because that's what you do. It's my, my third grade education says. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the Calo thing, this guy's saying that it's something with sweat. It could just be that the lady's like, you know what? It's lo fácil. Estos cabrones van a hacer calo y me vale madre que este calor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to throw everything in the pot, way. Yeah. Like, and then you start making up stories. That, uh, y el pinche señor starts making up fucking, no, pues eso es para que sudar. Y, para sudar, yeah. And it keeps your body cool. Y para you know? refrescar, güey. <clears throat> it makes, it forces you to sweat, where therefore, you know, <laughs> cuando te pega el aire ya te refrescas. I'm like, yeah, there's, there's some logic to that. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm going to need some talco for this fucking caldo, <laughs> just look for the wet spot and all that fucking powder on my Looking like a fucking donut with powder donut. Powder donut. Comiendo su caldo. Why is there so much fucking... Why is it thick right here? Wait, hey. Why is the powder thick right there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Wait. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, re religion is one of those things that it needs people to believe in it in order for it to exist. Wait. Yeah, to survive. Right? Yeah. Well, and, and yeah, but I, I like I, Fernie says, though, like they have been losing numbers. Like, well, in some areas, like I'm, I'm right here close to two ch churches and shit. So uh, there's always people, but I'm sure it's not what it used to be. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm sure it's not like, you know, down the street hay otra. And, you know, Sunday is está cabrón, but 
Yeah, and this fucking you would have traffic all over. And now it looks like it's a little less. What, mean, do you, what do you think it is, Wade? Why do you think people are just so like turned off by church or any religion organization? Well, Wade? I think I think it's what we're talking about, Wade. They, as, as the younger people, plays like well, I think it started maybe with us, Wade, because we started the internet started with us. But the the more information you you start having, plays the more you have doubts about everything. Oh shit, there's all those. Can you look it up? You can look it up, Wade. It's fucking into manos, Wade. Mm-hmm. So I, I think as those, the younger people grow up, was it they have less of that faith because they don't they they can look shit up one and two they can find like we're saying a different community where it doesn't mm-hmm. have to be church it doesn't have to be my parents community but mm-hmm. the the community to our our parents but puede ser como the church a veces que they have the fucking menudo sometimes after and all that yeah. shit that's the community no but it doesn't mine doesn't have to be that anymore way because I was scared I fucking I found different community right here on fucking on the internet way yeah. My community is over fucking Call of Duty or whatever. Trocas perronas. Yo juego pinche video games or mm. yo fucking, I go over here to Starbucks and hang out or I don't know what the kids mm. do. There. Yeah. <laughs> we're fucking, we're, we're club kitties or como les decían. Or we're foodies. <laughs> we're foodies now. Foodie. So you find, like, you can find whatever community you want now. Wait. Yeah. So it doesn't, you don't have to be stuck in your parents' world. Wait. I just think it's important to realize that there's more out there than what, we are or what we think we are where I, I just feel like a lot of people put a lot of importance in like what we need personally on a personal level my needs what i need you to do for me and and i think what what church did for a lot of people is it made them realize that it, it's much bigger than what you think you are and I'm not, I'm not saying that you should pray to some dude in a beard sitting in a fucking cloud or whatever you think <laughs> god is but I just feel like it's important to know that there's way bigger. Like earlier, Fernando was talking about how sweat, like your your body starts adjusting to it. I mean, even the conversation like that, we just passed it on. But how fucking amazing is that that we're engineered like that? Like, how the fuck did we get engineered like that? So it's like these things like that that we take for granted. We eat food and we don't think about chewing. We don't think about it going through our intestines. We don't think about us processing it and eventually taking a shit. That shit just happens. But to know that. There's something bigger in me that's working and I don't have, I'm not aware of it. Like, I think it's really important to understand that there's more than just what you think it is, you know? And then you have somebody like, that's the miracle of God. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Come on. <laughs> that's I mean, the miracle of God that created yeah, you. I get that. Like he created you in the, in yeah. his image. So yeah, just course. imagine yeah. you are a miracle. Yeah, of course. But uh, I mean, <clears throat> yeah. they, they don't believe in evolution, but they believe in a toilet wing. So <laughs> a flushing toilet. So I don't know. I don't know. It's like, it doesn't compute no way. Let me check the, the calculator. There's panel. a shit to the contradictions way that doesn't fucking add up way. I was just hearing the latest one, and I don't know if it has to do with that um, the Adam Driver movie, but apparently, uh, there's an Adam Driver movie because I'm 65, and supposedly it was oh, like sorry. 65 million years ago, right? Mm-hmm. So it's it's uh that supposedly there was Ramon me la recomendó yeah, before it came you, out. What did you think? Pues acabo tu to think uh, talk about it. No, don't put it down there because she'll knock it. <gasps> yeah. Forgot about Estella. Man. Yeah, she's over there right now. Fucking. So they say that um that supposedly uh, uh, extraterrestrials in a human-like form landed. Spoiler in this, alert! No, 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 it's landed in this world. <laughs> That's why you have the pyramids. You have all these all these things that are kind of hard to explain. That you know how is it that these were built or how was it yeah, that, yeah. and everything and that it wasn't it wasn't through evolution like you know. Uh, Darwin says that we came from a fish or whatever it was, or a single cell mic- microorganism. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but apparently this theory is that there was a crash landing or whatever, and there was a handful of people that were able to like try to make the best to survive with with very little that they had because basically they didn't have anything. Mm-hmm. So whatever they knew with it, that they had with themselves, that's how they started doing like all these stuff, you know, that that modern science can't explain how is it that it was built, you know, because supposedly man at those early stages was ignorant, if you think. Mm-hmm, you're saying. Mm-hmm. So that that's the new theory I was looking into. And I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. I'm like, oh, I mean, huh? yeah, they're, they're, that's a possibility right there. You know, that could be that could be a fact that I'm in, you know, and therefore, like, you know, uh, that's why we're engineered the way it is. And a lot of people say, you know, it's it's God that made us this way or, is, you know, and not evolution. But it could be a number of things. I mean, fuck, our body adapts to to the world around, to the environment around us, you know, like we're able to survive this. But if we were to go to like 
a frozen tundra and no podemos. We would, I don't know, it'll take us a while to adapt to it, but someone that's born there and bred there and fucking grew up there, their body's adapted to it too, mm-hmm. you know? So it's, mm-hmm. yeah, there's some adaption. There is some, some evolution to, to your environment. So again, it's just a theory that I'm like, it's out there. I'm like, oh fuck, this is an interesting theory, but it gets, it makes a good conversation. You know, it opens it up because it's, you're not just closed off to the possibility of like, yeah, you know, we're like created by by an entity, you know? Yeah, I mean, I don't I don't think that we're the smartest civilization that ever lived. And I think a lot of people, I think they do a disservice in their research by thinking that people thousands of years ago weren't smart. Like, yeah. these people are fucking intelligent as fuck, way. Like, what the fuck? What do you mean? Well, yeah, even even like what he said, way that they don't they, they don't know how they fucking how did they build that? Yeah, you go, wait, que tan pendejo? Yeah, seriously, <laughs> way. What they the had to be aliens. Way. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> there's a comedian. I, I, I thought the same thing. We're like, wait, what the fuck? Way? <laughs> there's a comedian. I, I think it's a Moreno. That I I, I, I seen this little stand up or hear the the clip where he says like, you know, people are always questioning like all oh, these uh, pyramids like. In Egypt and and all these other things and all over the world, like how is it that these things were made? They got to be extraterrestrial, but nobody questions the pyramids in Mexico. There's pyramids in Mexico. Mm-hmm. Oh, I saw that. Mexicans one. built that, so yeah. they're like, oh yeah, they're not gonna question it. They're not gonna say it's <laughs> it's extraterrestrial or yeah, anything. Yeah. This is with Chamban. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but everybody else, oh no, it's got to be extraterrestrial. Yeah. You know they, you know they. How how is it possible? But yeah, in Mexico, those pyramids, nobody yeah. questions them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> but I what mean, you think of the movie Ferns? The, the well, sixty-five. None of the theories from the movie. Then no, that that you're talking about, like people fucking put that together. No, I, I think I, I, I for me, I don't know what that theory had to be with the movie. Well, right, well, no, but it's like something like because as soon as the movie came out, apparently it's sixty-five million years ago. There's dinosaurs y que la chingada, but en esta nada más sobreviven dos. But in the theory, is like apparently it crash landed, but there was more people. You know, I mean, there was more people in that one, but then. Tan muertos, güey. Uh-huh. Pero pinche. That theory's been around for a while, güey. The fucking aliens fucking seeded us, whatever. That's not a new theory, güey. Pero the, the, the movie was all right, güey. Not a gran cosa, pero it's a good little fucking... Little, little, like... It does what it needs to, way. It entertains you, way. It seems, it seems like the government's talking more about aliens and stuff. Like, what's going on with that, way? Like well, there, there's been some little hearings. I haven't paid too much attention to them, but they're interviewing... Generals, two, pilots, two and three, like people I see that they, mm. they were in the military you, about like those reports and shit. Yeah, because they want to declassify shit. And I, yeah, declassify. Way I don't understand, but I don't think there's much to it. Way I don't know. You don't think that they found like aliens? Fucking, they they well, have contact with them or stuff like that. Way? Well, the 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 one I saw some one little clip of the one guy. I've seen him before. Way, but he was in that hearing. I'm not, I don't know his name. Way. But he said that, yeah, that the fucking government has biological matter, pues. Like, there's a crash, and he's implying, pues, that there's a body way. I think he's the guy that wrote the book Soft, Soft War? That guy? I have, I don't know, way. No sé, pero pinche. Tampoco jalada, way. It's like, like we are talking about before, way. The, the, I'm not saying they don't exist, pero um, it's probably more probable that they, they, they do, way. It's kind of ignorant, I guess. A little bit ignorant to think we're the only ones fucking in the whole pinche universo, no? Yeah. But like for them to get here and just hang out way, like I don't, I don't under, I understand the point way. Like llegaron hasta acá, chocaron type of shit. Like, but don't you, don't you? It's kind of like when you really think about it, don't you think that we're the fucking aliens into this fucking place? Like, cause look at how a kid, like you need so much care to have a kid fucking from birth to fucking teaching it things like. There had to be a, a first a, a person or first two people that were, were they just made as adults already? Like Adam and Eve. No, nah, <laughs> away from <laughs> the <laughs> away from the religion. <laughs> if you have a conversation with somebody, they'll tell you that. Well, yeah, I mean, they think that women were made out of a man's rib. I mean, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a man was made out of clay. <laughs> I mean, come on, dude. or mud. No, away from religion. Okay. I'm saying there, there, there's obviously something that's way more than we could even comprehend could be possible because. What was the way that uh, humans were just kind of put here as adults and they started procreating? Like at some point they had to be the, what it was what, with a newborn. A with, lot of newborns died to fucking. Yeah, but did they survive by themselves? <laughs> like I, I mean, I but animals take care of their they know how the same thing, and they're not they, they don't have like fucking massive brains or no don't have consciousness supposedly. You know, like it's just it's instinct. It's, it's, yeah, it's just you. A lot of it's instinct, way. I mean, how how do we figure out a fucking use a diaper, shit like that? Yes, that's just a torpedo. 
Yeah, I mean, I just think it's really hard to believe that that all of a sudden we just kind of came out. Some people believe we came from bacteria, where like all of a sudden it's just, oh, this is going to be a human and it just, I mean, obviously the evolution and stuff happens where thousands and thousands of years you start adapting to it or you start learning, but... But I just think that the origin story is it could be that we're we, we're the fucking aliens where right? we're not even from here. And then we just kind of <clears throat> came and just started. Who knows? Right. These are all theories. We don't know anything about that. But it's definitely interesting to think where I mean, that's a nice little thought experiment. With. I mean, it, it it could be como es este way. I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to mean that, that por si we're alien, but I mean, que, que somehow fucking. Aliens sprinkled some little dust in the ocean way and so that process we're talking about. Yeah. I guess, well, you know. They, I, I mean, it's hard to say no, you know, like fucking it's impossible. We're fucking sea monkeys, bro. <laughs> I mean, we, we start, but is it even the, like, even if you look at it, like, Adam, what's a good fucking example? Like the, like the, for evolution, like the, the, what's the whale? The one, the fucking, the fucking flipping boats, the orcas? Yeah, the orcas. Those pinchy orcas, I mean, they, those fuckers became... Like they went through like a similar path. They became land fucking mammals, and then they fucking evolved back into the ocean. Way. Like, Fuck this! It's too hot out here. And they have they have like <laughs> the, that some little bone like towards like their tails way where where the other feet the, the other mm, legs were, were. Yeah. But they went from the ocean to land back to the ocean way. Yeah. And fucking now they're they're, they're fucking the number one predator in the ocean. No, they're fucking crazy. Esos cabrones. Esos cabrones, dude. They took out the the great whites. Oh, they're, yeah. they're fucking They're even taking out boats Like Esos si son cholos wey No eh, pero <laughs> Esos lo, fucking orcas Si son cholos Lo, lo cabrón de esos weyes También wey I mean When you look into Those fuckers Está cabrón Pero Cause, cause they're in that, that uh, the, the family of dolph Like in that In brain wise wey That they're in the Level of intelligence Like fucking arriba De dolphins I think Or por ahí Pero One of the crazy things That they figured out That they do Is they kill for sport wey <laughs> <laughs> They kill for sport And they fuck With their food so, like, they'll fucking terrorize a shark before they kill it, way. <laughs> so, they, f- they kind of like we do fucking mamadas, way. You know, you fucking hunt something and you fucking, you stock it. And todo madre. Estos ways fuck with their food and they hunt for sport. They don't just hunt to fucking to eat, way. And also, lo comen todo, ¿verdad? They just go for, like, the, the fatty organs. Or they won't eat it at all. They're just fucking doing it for fucking shits and giggles, way. But, I mean, cats hunt for sport, way. I mean, there's a lot of animals that hunt for sport. These fuckers, cats are some of the most savages fucking... Oh, they're nah, fucking fuck savage. They're cute and oh, look at oh, how cute this cat is. Ay, que chulo, mi gatito. These guys are fucking savages, bro. <laughs> but the ocean is incredible too, where I mean, uh, dolphins are really smart, though, man. Where, I mean, All right, let me let this one out. I saw this, I saw this thing where the dolphins were getting high off this fucking fish, where <laughs> like they were past the, the fish would, would throw like some kind of like, like gas. And like, there's a video of like, like um, dolphins in like a circle and they're passing this fucking fish around. And you can see their, their, their body, their body language changed. Like they were fucking high as fuck, where and it's oh, like, how shit. do they figure this thing out? Where they digo, they're fucking, it's crazy, where. Pasa la bolsita, güey. Yeah, <laughs> le, le, te digo los pescaditos, güey. There, there was a there was a researcher like I think in the seventies or in the eighties that she was studying dolphins and she got in trouble. They they fucking defunded her program because she would masturbate these dolphins oh, in order for them to listen to her while she's doing like the research. <laughs> hey, she, hey, she, she's out to something, bro. She was out to but something. But the fact that dolphins hey. are fucking savages like that, güey. Pon atención, cabrón. Those dolphins, ya te digo también. They they fucking rape they, they try to fucking rape people and shit where these guys are savage well man. I think um, who was it? I think Nalia was telling me this you remember the little kid Eliasar Gonzalez yeah back the, in the Cuban night? guy yeah the Cuban yeah. kid that supposedly he was protected by by dolphins or like oh they th- do that shit too yeah mm-hmm. they, but Nalia Nalia's theory is that like nah they were just protecting their meal you know they were like a, a ver cuando se muere y se lo comen shit I mean there's a lot of there's a lot of stories where like, uh, no, like the, they they protect they'll protect humans type of shit. Like the fucking yeah. tequila and those dolphins being the I think I think the whales fucking the main thing stories of fucking like yeah. those orcas I mean. Yeah. Pero los orcas were fuck with you también. <laughs> and now have the orcas eaten people? No, that they haven't gotten to that point yet, have they? No, wait. Pero it's, it's, it's like sharks way. It's not their like food way. It's mm. como, pero te digo. The, the, yeah, when well, you look into those orcas, it's fucking crazy. Dolphins, the main way. But but octopuses are smart as fuck. The but those oh, orcas, yeah. like, even have different. Um, it, it's not like the other animals, pues, que, like, you can go in different places and a deer talks, like, to a deer in the same manner way. Orcas, pedo, pedo, oh, within their little families, 
have different languages, oh, yeah, like yeah, in yeah. different countries. Yeah. So they have different sounds. He told like their dial, like their even their cadence, everything's different. Way. Yeah. It's <laughs> pretty crazy. Right? Like how did how did yeah. how did that develop? Right, like that language. I mean, all that shit's incredible. Dude. Yeah, like they develop literally their own language. Way. Right? So por decir, you you go to. To poquito más sur, güey, and, and they talk a different language. Uno orca, no se va, no se va a entender al otro. So that, that orca is from the south, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Louisiana. That's some Gulf of Mexico shit. <laughs> hey, y'all. <laughs> shit, güey. Oh, shit. That, that, that's a Bariqua fucking orca. Oye, coño, that's amigo. from the Atlantic, eh? <laughs> Oye, mi socio. <laughs> Oh, what? Shit. That rookie has a big ass gold chain, eh? <laughs> what up, dog? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a hood worker right that's there. That's a hood worker, eh? I was con la cartera con ese cabrón. Shit, wey. It's chilango. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah. They, they also have fucking uh, their their brain. I, I, think it was, I think it was the orcas también, wey. That, that they're, the part of your brain that fucking deals with emotions is fucking bigger. Really? Yeah. So they fucking, they probably fucking have more emotions than we do. Which is funny, way like, like we we want to go to Mars and shit, and we don't really understand the ocean. You know, like it's <laughs> there's so many depths of the ocean that we can't get to, and and we're over here trying to go somewhere else, and we're not even really. It's a very a human thing to do. Way it's it's not even appreciate what's around you. You want the next big shiny thing. Way. Finally, we can't even get down to see the Titanic in one piece. <laughs> Too soon. Too soon. Too soon. <laughs> I just watched it last night. <laughs> the movie? <laughs> the Titan? Yeah. What? Uh, what? I what? was up to like two in the morning watching it. Holy Pero, shit. Wait. The Leonardo DiCaprio? Yeah. Well, oh, wait. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. I mean, at first, I, I, I want to go see it when it came out in the theater. I think it was like in 97. Yeah. And so I in the theater. It was right? a massive fucking movie. It right? was. And then over the years, like, when it salió VHS, it was about hueva because it was back in the days where you had to put the two tapes in, right? Yeah. So I'm like, eh, whatever. But now it's on, I think it's on, I don't know where I saw it, on Prime or Netflix or something like that. So last night I'm all like, yeah, I'm all like, I should go to bed and I'm fucking around. I'm like, oh, Titanic. I'm like, you know, let, let me let me check this out. So I started watching it. You know what? I fucking, I love it. It still, it aged well? No, I mean, I don't know if it ages well, but I just like it, dude. It's like somehow it transported me back to like the 90s, you know? And, you know, you hear the song, and I hate the fucking song, but, you know, you hear it, and they're like, oh, fuck, And that's when I gusto. Pobre, pobre Jack. Wait, He's watching pinche. it by himself, too, yeah. by the way. Yeah. Fucking yeah. <laughs> <Okay>, Peachy <laughs> Rose, At you two know? in the morning. It's not some cheesy romantic moment. Where no. Yeah, no, he's literally I, by me himself. Me and Stella. Come here, Stella. <laughs> you know, but then, uh, what you a weird choice, but... Um. <laughs> but then, uh, you know, but then, you know, you start looking at it like, fuck it, Billy Zane. Fucking, that motherfucker was a good actor, dude. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm like, oh, shit, man. Like, I... It doesn't get as much credit as it used to, but uh, it was, it's a good movie. I watched mm. it, but then I was looking at it yesterday, and I'm like, yeah, see, that's where these fucking guys fucked up. Look at even the ones they use for the movie. They're like, seven chingones, seven, like the little fucking little su submersible subs. They look fucking, they look chingon. Yeah. You know, not like that little fucking. No Amazon control here. Andale. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, y estos cabrones vienen con un pinche mecate or something, you know, for, for air. And everything like, oh, fuck, yeah, you know. Yeah, I think they had it. And then they have a little robot. You know? I'm like, fuck, and this is a 97, bro. Yeah. This is a 97. Yeah, yeah I mean, it was a massive fucking movie. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, me la venta no, Chevy. I mean, who am I to judge me? <laughs> no, nobody, you know. <laughs> pinche Rose. I, I can judge. Jack, Jack, si <laughs> cabía en ese pinche pedazo de madera, güey. No, cabía, I don't remember. Yeah, I mean, I mean uh, dude, they got time. You know, they could have fucking... Uh, it, it was freezing cold, but they could have figured something out. Or he could have gotten another piece of wood somewhere nearby and fucking the Charles and Sima. Why, why do you think people are so obsessed with the Titanic way? Oh, what, what, what is it about the Titanic? That's my question right there. Like, why, why, not not the movie. Mm -hmm. Like, just... The ship? The sh yeah, like, what's... what's? I don't understand. I, I mean, don't get it either. Man. I mean, I get it, way, but I, I still don't get why it's so, like... Um, all the attention that it gets and all the, the people that study it and stuff. I just don't understand How, how obsessed people are with yeah, it. Yeah, like, what is it? What, you fucking that's a good question. I don't, I, I don't know. Is it marketing? Like, they were good at marketing <laughs> this fucking shipwreck? <laughs> I well, think so, it, right? it goes to one of those where, like, again, you know how you were talking about the Beatles saying that they were bigger than Jesus Christ? Yeah. Well, the Titanic was supposedly the the, the catch line was not, not even God himself. 
it's unsinkable, you know? Not even God himself can sink the ship. Okay, how do, you, how do you think that... <laughs> how do you, I mean, it was definitely a, a rich a rich cruise, right? Rich people were, were cruising. On it, had yeah. levels, it had all levels. But, yeah, I mean, it, was, it was mostly it was rich for people. the rich. So I think if something like that happened now, do you think it would be historic? I think people would just shit on well, rich I, people dying. There, again. There's like, a big ass fucking... The biggest cruise ship ever built is fucking... Is, they just finished it up or... They're releasing it. I think they're entrando el año. But but I think in, what's it in, called in, the the arc. Well, no, because I I saw because the the the, the <coughs> pasó the sub shit. They've been comparing it to the Titanic. <laughs> but you think if like one of those ships would go down now with a bunch of rich people, like do you think it would be historical, like the way the Titanic was? You know what? I think it, it's the circumstances to it because I mean, if you look at the history of the story of it, it's one of those where like it was a veteran um captain, you know, twenty six years. Anyway, you know yeah. about it. Oh, I just saw it last night, Wayne. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not a documentary, Wayne. It's still fresh in my memory. Like Leonardo DiCaprio's alive. You know this, right? I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Jack Dawson's a made up character, you know? I don't know about Kate Winslet. I, don't know, I can't speak to her. Rose. <laughs> so, but it was one of those where, like, it, like all, all, everything was there to prevent. Pre this whole incident was preventable. You know, but at some reason, they're like they're trying to figure out why is it that it did it. And I guess with historians and then, you know, coming out with their own theories, because um, I think I don't know if the, there were survivors, but I don't know if any of the survivors there were going to tell you the truth. Like, oh, no, pues, I fucking coerced the captain to fucking fire up all four boilers. Y no madre, because iba, it was going pretty fast. <clears throat> To the point where, like, if you did see a, 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 you know, an iceberg during the day, you'd be able to avoid it. But en la noche está cabrón, you know, está cabrón de verlo. So it's one of those where, like, uh, you know, his his hubris got in the way. Is uh, you know, fucking, he was unsafe, mm. and that's mm -hmm. what caused it. The fact that it was its first voyage, you know, it's not like it did several voyages before. It, it was literally left fucking. I think it was England, and it was going to to the states. How, how fast was it going when? It was going like 20 something 20 something knots Knots ¿Cuántos yeah. boilers tenía esa madre? Uh, it had eight boilers And I think they had oh. fired only four And the other four Todavía no los habían prendido Y, y uno de los I guess oh yeah, well, I won't say marketing But one of the people That like uh, publicity They're like Fire all four of them You know Just imagine This is your last fucking um, Before you retire And you'll be fucking You'll be famous for making it A day earlier you know, which is unheard of back in those days. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Being there Tuesday night instead of Wednesday, Wednesday night. Mm -hmm. You know, like just imagine what the press is going to say. So it was all for publicity. So the pinche capitán is like, oh, you know, why not? You know, so fires off war, even a madres. <laughs> Imagine. Hey, pero um, was all this in the movie way? Porque yeah. it sounds no, like you did some additional story. research. This, this guy probably well, went down with that fucking with the, the rabbit hole? ocean no. gate. He probably went on the ocean <laughs> gate. Because I, I, I don't remember them talking about all these boilers. Way. Yeah, you don't pay attention. That's why. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Holy shit! Dude. Shots no. fired. Wow. Pero también um um esta the Lullaby Fear Park has did an episode on it, and she got a little no, bit more see. into into. But this is like uh, maybe. Some of time last year that she did that episode, and um, but I mean it's like uh, there's a part in the scene where the guy talks about like you know one of the the guys in the bird's nest talks about like you know I can smell ice. Apparently, an iceberg outside um, in the ocean or whatever it kind of releases a um, like a chemical methane. smell, mm. like methane smell. So like, oh no, methane is it? Okay, <laughs> I don't know if it was methane or not, but it, it releases it a, a smell. smell. Yeah, and like you know, sometimes you could smell it before you get there. So then you know, you take preventative measures. You know, you slow yeah. down and like okay, then ah, aquí está, le sacamos. You know, start playing Frogger with it's it. It's kind of like uh, when you open a fucking manhole and it has that smell, uh -huh. and you go, oh shit, I gotta air this shit out. Uh -huh. It's the same thing. Well, okay, parecidón. Yeah. So you know that you know. So there's a lot of little things to it, and they make mention of that in the movie. <clears throat> I mean, I don't remember post ninety seven or ninety six when it came out because I'm, I'm now I'm thinking like, is it is it just the impact that movie had in society that everybody's interested in the Titanic? I don't remember post the Titanic the movie if people were really talking about the Titanic or knew about the Titanic the way after the movie came out because I feel like that's what's gonna happen with Oppenheimer. I, I feel like this movie is gonna be big that everybody's gonna all of a sudden now 
uh, gonna be, be interested an ex- in, yeah, no, or uh, an expert, huh? an expert in the fucking the bomb yeah, and shit. Next week, Ramon's gonna bring out his Oppenheimer facts. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> well, no, because I mean, no, he's well, gonna watch Barbie. Way. Well, no, Barbie, for, <laughs> Barbie history. Uh, well, I'm, I'm gonna bust a Barbenheimer. I, I'm gonna go watch both of them. No, not me, because I was on eBay betting on all the old Kens. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Fernie and I, oh, we've, bidding, not we've, betting. We, we've had conversations of you know the Manhattan Project and everything, like you know back in the days. No. So. Like, you know, we're aware of it. I don't know how I came across it back in the days, but, you know, Fernie's known about it. I known about, you know, like uh, the whole project, how secret it was and, you know, the test site and everything, because it's one of those where like most of the movies that you see, you always see those clips of the atomic bomb going off in the desert. Right. And you have those like uh, those concrete bunkers on the Sevel Pinche Desmadre and you see the fake town and all that. So based upon that. Of course, you know, a lot of people get interested. I got interested in that. Like, what the fuck is that? Mm -hmm. And then you start looking into it and doing research. And then you find out like, okay, this is when they were doing the testing for the atomic bomb, Mm -hmm. you know, and everything. But yeah, there's going to be a lot more people now like, oh, yeah, no, Oppenheimer was a troubled man. And he was a genius and he was this and he was that. I mean, I always thought that he was like the face or whatever. But the people that really should take the credit were the team. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the right team. Away. Yeah, you know, he was like company man. Era el que aventaba, decía, you know, I wanted to do this, I wanted to do that, but a lo que tengo entendido, again, I'm not a historian, and I, you know, but a lo que tengo entendido, like he wasn't in the room where like most of the team was trying to come up with the with the the chemical or the 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 formula for yeah. for this. No, you know? are, you, are you basing this on the on the other show way that was about the team? <laughs> Oh no 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 no! No, there was a there was a uh, what was it? There was a buck or something that, or I think I heard a radio show about it. I think it was prior to podcasting. I think it was a radio show about it, or or was it a podcast? Well, there, no, there was that show where they were talking yeah. about. That. I can't remember the name of it, but it was essentially about the team. And Lopez Hyber salía aquí allí. Like I don't a know minor if that's character. true. Way. Like I don't know if I agree with that. That he wasn't like too involved. With no, it. he was involved, but not like as in depth as like it's como que it's like you have a manager, you know, and it, let's just say you're the manager and you are responsible for making this happen, but you have your team. So you come up with the ideas. I'm like, okay, guys, here's the plan. This is what I want. I, I need this to work. You know, so tú solo pasas a tu equipo y tu equipo starts coming up with it. When they got it, then you look over like, okay, no, this is not going to work. Make it. I need this, this, this and that. So solo pasas otra vez a team. So it's something like that, you know. But I mean, that's that's to have that. That's a really that's a Steve Jobs. Like that's a really important like part of the operation. Like you need you need to know how to push these people in order for them to work together. And he wasn't even like the first choice way. Like he was like the, that that general that that was uh, that was that was in charge or whatever his position in the military was that was in charge of putting this team together. He's the one that vouched for him. Like the government didn't want him because he had no experience running a team like that. So I feel like this dude did more than than what that show or whatever you're saying. I mean, I feel like there is something to being that person, like like a Steve Jobs, where where you delegate and you and you have the team work together and, and maybe put unrealistic expectations on them in order for them to be pushed farther than what they think they could be pushed with. Yeah, well, I mean, it's that argument. I mean, the argument is essentially kind of like what you're saying. Wait, did Steve Jobs invent the iPhone or did the team invent the iPhone? Well, I mean, if you talk to the team, they say that that they've never been as creative as when they were under Steve Jobs. I mean, even now, as there's still engineer, there's still some engineers that still work, and they say that they wouldn't have created that if it wasn't for the leadership that Steve Jobs, the, the fucking crazy and the what everybody criticized. They'll tell you that we we never been as creative as when we were under Steve Jobs' way. So I think that that's really important. Way I, I think most people need to be pushed because we don't know what we can do. Like. If I play guitar in a song and I'm like, yeah, this is what I can do. But somebody's like, no, dude, you can do that better. Like he's already or she is pushing me further than what I thought I can do. So that's really important in a team way to have somebody put expectations on you and say, no, you can do more than that. And you're like, no, I can. This is no, you can do more. And I want it by tomorrow. So then you're like, fuck. So then these teams were pushed to the point where they're making these breakthroughs that they didn't think was possible. Yeah, you need them both. And and I, I agree with you. But I mean, and part of me is like, fuck, it's like he's the one that gets most of he gets all the credit, you know. He gets all the credit, but también it's like that's all of history, though. Yeah, it, that's all of history. It's como también está diciendo Fernie. You know, you got Steve Jobs, and then you got the the actual engineers 
that made it because Steve Jobs would say, I wanted to do this. Yeah. Well, it's cause like like Esteban saying, you need the person with the with the idea. Well, not 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 just the idea, but like that vision. Because like maybe he doesn't know all the, the the things, but you need someone that that can see everything. Pues, porque like if if your focus pues is this chip, or is it like an iPhone? Your focus is the minimizing this chip to fit here, or the the battery fucking. That's gonna be your your that your expertise, pues. But you might not know about this other department how they're gonna do their pedazo, me entiendes? Because that's not my, I don't know that. You need someone though that can see the whole, whole vision pues también, way. Yeah. Same thing like that, but he might not be able to break down this. He needs a material pues that doesn't exist or we don't know how to make it. Maybe, but only this. My my thing is chemistry, but in chemistry pues that breaks down into a bunch of different little things too. There's like material chemist and mm-hmm. fucking like liquid chemist. Like so, all those battles pues you need someone that can put everything together way even though that's not my expertise kind of like what he's saying way that has that vision and knows to fucking like i need this way yeah i mean you say that he takes all the credit but i mean shit i would argue that really i mean the government fucking completely fucking threw him under the bus after yeah yeah i mean he became the fucking <clears throat> bad guy and i i would argue that you know that he avoided World War Three by creating that and the team. I mean, it, it literally, it, it's something that could end the world, but it literally is, is because it's there, it actually kept it's, it's other kept things. people on yeah. check. Huh? So it's, it's kept countries of, it's on one check. one of those things yeah. where it's like a weird... It's that fear, like, oh, shit, you know. Uh. You know I, I, I mean, I would argue that even like North Korea or, or Russia or Iran, I mean, I, w- I would think that... I would want to say that these people wouldn't fucking be stupid enough to to um to take everybody out. Cause what's what's fun is it if if you don't have somebody to compete with? Way if you're the only one that that is in control of the whole world. I mean, what what kind of what do North Korea do? Way by themselves up there, like it's no fun. Way you need you need a, you need you need a bad guy to yeah. shoot the shit with and be like fuck that dude over there. Yeah, but if you don't, well, if, what if you don't learn that lesson until it's too late? Way I mean, yeah, yeah <laughs> that's, 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 that's <laughs> you need a narca, bro. <laughs> Like, yeah. también, uh, you need a narco in the mix. Let's, let's make kidding. this happen. <laughs> I don't know. A narco to make it happen. Keep yeah, things interesting, you know? They, they like to fuck with their food. Yeah, wait, pinche. Did you see a movie, wait? No, I haven't seen you the movie. You haven't seen it? I, I want to okay. watch it, though. Yeah, I want to go see it, too. I want to watch it, but I haven't I haven't seen it. Hey, uh, how does your week look? <laughs> You want to go see it? Yeah, let's go fucking see it. You want to see it for me? I'm down, man. Yeah. yeah, in la semana. Yeah, I think. And we we'll can, do a movie review after. I think we can make it happen. We'll, we'll take the fucking recorder and then we'll, or like, hey, Ray, does he have those features microphones there when the movies, <laughs> when the movies going on? Like, tampoco, tampoco. Hey, wasn't that fucker a Peaky Blinders way? <laughs> what is he doing? Like, inventing the atomic bomb? <laughs> 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 wasn't he fucking harassing some lady in an airplane? <laughs> no, was, isn't that Iron Man? <laughs> <laughs> wasn't he the scarecrow? <laughs> Didn't he already invent bombs? <laughs> <laughs> Shh. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what's going on? What is yeah, this? That, that's definitely not a, a date movie way because like, I threw it out there and she's like, "What is that?" Oh my like, fuck! I'm not gonna. She's gonna want to watch no, it. No, the Mika was supposed to go watch it with uh with uh, her friends. Oh, if I she's ditching you. Wait, yeah, she was. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck? I'm like, I'm like, all right, fine. You <laughs> know, I'll go watch it. No wonder you're yeah. watching Titanic. <laughs> yeah, <Yo>, we. <wheat. laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. like, I don't throw oh, solo watching Titanic. I know, bitch. Fuck Jack. I feel uh, you, bro. It's all our weeds. Way they left them without a fucking little raft. <laughs> fucking, fucking draw me like one of your French girls, Jack. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell the guys on Saturday. Yeah, fucking throw it out there, eh? <laughs> That's, that's, that's a good setup, way. Yeah. <laughs> this was all set up to go to the yeah, movies. Yeah, pretty much, way. <laughs> <laughs> now we know the truth. Um, Fucking, what's we'll set it up during the week, way? Because I mean, even like the, I thought, I thought the Challenger was was m- kind of had more of an impact, no way. Like the Challenger, no, no, a lot of people don't really think about that anymore. Remember the Challenger? Yeah, it was uh, eighty six. I think it was. I mean, I think. Honestly, most people know the Titanic than the Challenger, right? I mean, it was one of those things that we remember as kids because we were fucking, we were watching it on TV. Right? Yeah, we were in class. Yeah, there because was a teacher, teacher there. There was a teacher there. Yeah. That was pretty sad, where. But I mean, the, the, that's because shit that, that's happened in our lifetime, no? It did happen in our lifetime, so that, yeah. And it happened like, well, not not to us, but like. 
Uh, maybe so. Let's just say in another it's 20, 30 years, memories. they're going to make a fucking series or a story behind, you know, the Challenger. Who knows? Did yeah. they make something? Yeah, they did a doc- uh, documentary, I think it was. Mm, I don't so think they've done a movie something. yet. So I think they're working on the characters to make it more exciting, you know? Oh, they're working on, on the I don't know. I'm just saying, like, oh. you know. Oh, there's lives. a strike, bro. They're working on shit. Uh, yeah, I know, right? Yeah. This is waste. I saw Danny Trejo on TV complaining <laughs> about wages. <laughs> Yeah, but you. You saw? <laughs> like, what is he talking about? <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> he, he wasn't making sense, man. <laughs> oh, but, oh, pobrecito, wey. Yeah, Come on, no wey. Call, wey. No, I know, but it was like, He's trying is... to make a statement, wey. He's trying to, <laughs> he's trying to back <laughs> fucking fools up, wey. I love that guy, dude. I love him. <laughs> but it's yeah. just like I was watching, I'm like, oh, what's going on right here? What's this train wreck going? I think it's going into an intervention, bro. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> he's go- he went bankrupt, I think. Or no, he filed for he? bankruptcy, I think. What? Well, yeah. it's because he has a lot of businesses. He's got a lot of business. Oh, uh, so, so, I mean, you have to... No pagado impuestos. Oh, he's just playing the game, where Yeah, yeah, he's playing Yeah, the- oh, he's a smart guy, where Yeah, no, you... Bankruptcy doesn't mean that he's fucking I'm going broke, to shit, yeah. Where, yeah. He just doesn't want to pay. <laughs> <laughs> he just knows how to work the yeah, system like, now. Hey, he doesn't want to lose his cars. 24 million? I'm bankrupt. Yeah, no, for sure, way. El pinche, pero... How old is that, Bato? He's like 70s. No. Oh, he's 80s? He's in his 80s. I think he's in his 80s. Late That's 70s what I thought. Or early yeah, 80s. Yeah, he could be right, I think right. he's in his 80s, way. Yeah. So, like, I get it, way. Pero, nah, esos güeyes sí, sí la tienen culés right now, way. No. Del, el pinche también de, de un güey samba tajita, UPS, just got that fucking... Oh, they make like 49 bucks an hour now, uh, well, the thing to drivers, but there was, there was beef with the... I mean, that's pretty good wage, way. 49 bucks an hour? El, el pinche, because I, I bring it up con los, los compas, el mm. compa que, que como nos hemos del the UPS every while, pero the contract looked pretty good, pero from what I was seeing, the fucking, the, the part-time people are fucking not happy with. Oh, yeah, because this is only for the full-time, no? Well, the full-time get the, the chingon raise, they only get, they only get like a little slight bump. And mo- most of the people that work there are fucking part time. So they're yeah. saying now they'll just get more part time people yeah. by no pagar those $40 you're talking about. Mm, that's so a good the, point. Yeah. So they'll, they'll just fucking stock up on the. So the people that are already there are going to. Les va a ir bien, but there's not going to be a well, chance for others ta- to. También los que ya están allí, que, que I saw in the fucking. The little. The, I saw a little YouTube video that's breaking down the little contract con el pinche, some union dudes. Pero el pinche, la, part of the comments too, wait, I was like. Ta cabrón, güey. Es que people are there. I don't know if this is right or not, way. Maybe, maybe they need some clarification. But they're saying, okay, well, I've worked there fucking four years. I'm already at fucking the 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 new minimum is I think twenty one dollars. So they're already like at twenty one dollars, way. You go. So everybody that gets hired now is gonna make as much as me. Like, is that mm, fair? No. And I was like, well. You can't think about things like that way. Yeah. That, that's like like the thing that was. Hey, I I pay for my college. Yeah. Why am I gonna bail them out? Like mm-hmm. it's that that same mentality. So kind of I was like, I, I get what you're saying, way. Como like we we're talking earlier, way. I understand what you're saying, but I understand that yeah. for the future, this is better way. You yeah. know, like it, it's not just about you, way. And pero está cabrón, way. So like the part timers, I think, are the ones that are not happy, and the part timers are the ones that. Is the majority of the workforce one. But I mean, it's like it's something about their schedules too, right? How they keep fucking with their schedules or something. Well, the, the part-timers, those are part-timers way that, that, that you, you don't get as much fucking shit and you don't get as much hours way. So even if you're making the 21 way, you're only working, what is, what I don't know. 32 put, hours maybe? 20 hours or whatever. I think they do four-hour days, shit like that. I think in order to be considered part-time, you have to be no more than 32 hours. But I mean, I'm saying <gasps> from, from their thing, I think they give them four-hour shifts. So like you work four hours every day type of shit. Sure. Mm-hmm. So, but up, so you make a little bit more. I don't know where. I mean, not say enough, but I know that the even the the AC thing, people are fucking chingando because they go, well, they're finally gonna get AC in the trucks, but that que le pusieron little condition que trucks like purchased after uh, this year way, so that these bottles are stocking up on trucks now, so they don't have to put AC in that sure. way. <laughs> Shit like that. So they're like, Dick, we're probably not gonna see trucks in my fucking lifetime way, like what they see. So, uh, I mean, there's a lot of, it seems pretty positive, but other yeah, yeah, is when you're in it, that cabrón. Yeah. I, I saw a video of a, of a UPS female driver. Um, oh, shit. Here it goes again, güey. No, 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 no. Así empezó el día, güey. <clears throat> no, like, I guess it's, I, I don't know, like, they, 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 I don't know why people tend to go, like, live or, or record this or post it where, like, they're going to, like, 
use this to quit or to, to like cabrón. the resignation? That's a thing? Yeah. yeah, well, I've I've seen a few of them already. I don't or, know if a thing. Don't they like, you know, I guess the girl puts it on like in her center console and then she hits record or whatever and she's all like, yeah, this is like my last, I, I put in it, I'm putting in my two weeks. Yeah, I've seen that. You know, I'm fucking tired of this shit. I keep getting like, you know, messages like, why am I taking so long? And then she's in the back. I'm trying, you know, I'm taking so long because the way you organize these trucks, I got to drop off these fucking packages, but they're not in an order and I have to find them so yeah that's why i'm in the back of my truck looking for this stuff you know and she's moving boxes and throwing them and she's like and it's fucking cat litter a lot of this shit is you know the fucking things weigh 500 pounds you know she's oh, going up yeah, like, why the fuck do people not go buy it you know fucking lazy ass people or something Jesus like that she starts going up i'm like oh shit job security way you don't want people ordering shit online <laughs> <laughs> for real that's yeah. why they order online i mean we're, the, fuck. we're literally the ones that are gonna pay for those wages where i mean the company's not gonna fucking they're just gonna hike their prices and then they the consumer is the one that always pays for shit that's how these companies get away with a lot of shit with yeah they always and they make cuts yeah i mean so stuck out nowhere. less people do fucking more of the holly so that, that cabron, like and we're saying like that fucking i mean like i was saying like they'll probably i don't know if there's a condition in there but they'll probably just hire more part-timers way but not pagar the fucking the 40 something dollars way. But the main like part timers do they um I don't know if you know this but do they have like me- benefits they don't have medical benefits <clears throat> I don't think. I, yeah I don't know I'm not sure when some companies part timers do have yeah. benefits they do yeah. I mean yeah. it, it, some of them do you know they they all have benefits and they even have like four hundred one ks and all that you know um, but the only thing that they don't have I think is vacation that's one of the things that I think people should be careful with those four hundred one ks man like they put a lot of trust in like the person running that like. A lot of people don't understand what that is, way, and then they get to the retirement age, and they're like, "Wait, what happened? Like, all this stuff's tied up to the stock market, it's tied up to the economy, inflation, all that shit gets um, when with the fees and everything that you're paying, way. I mean, fuck, way, people are gonna struggle, way. A lot of, especially our age, when we get when it's time to get to retire, way. I mean, fuck, way. Si no nos ponemos las pilas, way, ahorita, or people say that you need to start. Uh, prepping for retirement in your 20s, way, 30s. I mean, yeah, well, chat. It's going to be tough, way, because we we're talking about earlier with the pensions that a company, all they have to do is go bankrupt and they don't have to pay any pension. <gasps> Danny Trejo. <laughs> Ahí está. Sas, we figured out the fucking plan. Now we figured it out. My, <laughs> my, my pension is like $24, way. Fuck, way. A month? Algo así. And I have one papel that it literally tells you, like in bold print. This is your only like comprobante. This is your only the only paper you have to like prove that. <laughs> Holy shit! Wait, what, so, and you know where that paper is at? I know where it is right now. I can't. <laughs> I can't guarantee in twenty. Take for, for my twenty five dollars, whatever it is, twenty four hey, or something. Fuck it, uh, that would be fucking walking around money. That's for fucking. fucking pal, 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 at that point, it might not even buy a gallon of gas. With well, no, but for the ice cream truck, you could get yourself a soft serve for, for twenty five bucks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. At that point, can tell me what. What is the milk is gonna to be fucking scar uh, I, stuck out on rare. but they're calling it a what was that what I hear someone fucking call it the union worker summer or hot union worker summer I don't know I got fucked that one up because everybody's striking oh, I that's... think it's good way I'm, I'm I'm excited way everybody's fucking striking I like it way fuck yeah it, it sucks in the moment way but it's in the long term it's it pays off it pays off yeah, because I was thinking about it, like what you were saying for me, like last time, we were like AI, as far as with the actors and the and the writers, like fucking imagine that way you're you're a background actor or you're like you know one of those scene actors or like they need the background, you. Yeah. yeah, or like oh you have one line or like you know you you're the delivery guy, you know. Or, oh, the, those are a little different when the ones or, or up. the background ones, and they you know fucking you go fucking get paid for the day and you're good to go, you know. And if you fucking sign that. Then you just do that one take, and then I thought like you're waiting for calls, and like I oh, know we're, we're good, we're good. Well, that, that's the pedal they had with. That's that's exactly what I was saying with. That they wanted to pay you for the day, to fucking yeah, yeah, tienen tu, tu little likeness, and from that the, the I wouldn't say it, it's it's AI or maybe at some point it's probably gonna be a, but the the graphics fucking people just fucking put you in everything yeah. that way. Now you're yeah. now you're a guy and fucking walking by in New York in every fucking New York scene way. Yeah, te cambian el color de la ropa and then they they, they, they might take different takes, right? You walking, you sitting, you yeah, clapping, yeah. but your yeah, face way, yeah. you know? La chingada. And then you're like, hey, that guy is in everything right now. And Fuck, they, he's, and they, he's doing good. Yeah, and they paid you a hundred bucks fucking for life. 
Well, I mean, the, these guys are lucky that fucking uh, the music business, we've been fucked since the fucking early 2000s. So it was just a matter of time that the movies were also going to be fucked with technology. Everybody didn't have a problem with musicians getting fucked. Everybody streams oh, yeah, songs yeah. for free. Everybody, uh, it wasn't a big deal. We, we've been struggling for fucking 20, 25 years. Wait, so now all of a sudden, the movie guys, they, they had a lot of time to prep for this. Way. I mean, it's technology. It's what happens. The arts always get fucked. I remember I thought that Metallica was a little... When when they when they were starting, what was it with their suing Napster? I think it yeah. was. Yeah. And I remember like, what the fuck, bro? Really, you make millions yeah, of dollars, but I I didn't. You know, I, I'm not a musician. I didn't see the how it was gonna affect later on in the, in you know, in the future. And yeah, fucking Napster really fucked everything up. Ticketmaster. I mean, we get fucked. We 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 go to a gig way. The venue wants a percentage of our merch table as well. Way. Not only are you breaking bread with Ticketmaster, but then you're selling shirts your band shirts and the venue wants a percentage of that too like i mean it's just part of being a fucking artist way I, I just feel like people sound really snobby when they're rich as fuck and they're complaining about things like that because i mean <laughs> nobody had an issue with musicians getting fucked years ago way everybody streamed everybody fucking uh agree with all that shit but now that it's affecting them i don't know i, I can't get on board with that shit way. well i mean that but that's the same attitude i just brought up way that gay uh, que porque no me no me because it didn't work out for me then pues tú también te well, it, could still, it could still work out for me I just gotta be smart and not think that the traditional way of doing things I'm not complaining about it I'm just I think it's better because now I can take charge of my own my own thing and figure out a way to 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 do it my way where I don't need a, a record company and stuff like that even if it takes longer I'm not complaining about it I think it's good no no but I'm, I'm saying the, the the sentiment pues que fucking pues no one no one cared about the when los chingaron los musicians so I I, I don't really have like any feelings towards the, the mm. like what they're striking now it's, it's, it's kind of like I was saying about the, the 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 little comment I read about the UPS guy saying well Dick I I've been for I'm here four years. And I'm gonna make the same as a new guy, like fucking. That's not cool. When you should be just fucking, not maybe not excited, but fucking understand que fucking pues, for the future and for those new people coming in, pues, that it's good for for, I guess, in mass more than it's like you're making it a personal thing when it's not really should have needed to be a personal thing. Where I'm just saying, like, this, it's good for the industry. These these people need to stop relying on the on the ancient way of doing business in movies where. They need to start thinking outside the box the way we did, way. Yeah. But I mean, the, 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 well, no, that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm saying like you can't really, like you you can like your your band can go and record and do a thing, and that that could be on almost the same scale. Maybe not the the concert place, but your your recording could could end up coming out as good as fucking someone with with chingo lana, no? Okay, they do a, a massive production, and it te sale igual. Pero like in a film, pues. You can. There's a difference between like a little indie and like a like fucking for see like a Marvel like movie where like you're not gonna make a Marvel movie at that level fucking like an indie way. Your that your indie is gonna have to be more about like a story and then than, than Flash. Yeah. And then this so like there's not a like a the comparison is a little different. Like I I don't I mean like if would there be a way I'm trying to think would there be a way like for musicians to unionize así también que there's, un, there's musicians unions way sí, sí existen yeah. yeah we have that yeah because there's uh, but, uh, <clears throat> engineers there's uh, music production companies there's like even folly, Foley's I think they fall into no but I'm saying like like, a, like 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 a band like if your band wanted to join a union well I, I think it's more of an individual thing like you individually you can join the union or there's a thing called ASCAP BMI those, oh, yeah, those yeah, yeah. also it's not necessarily a union but you can get medical benefits through that and and there's legal representation in case somebody at the, you want somebody to steal your song right like you want to use there's no you, you shouldn't be afraid of somebody trademarking your shit like you have if your song is registered and everything's good go ahead and steal my shit I'm gonna sue you there's there's things that are going to help me protect it so we do have that way no, but, but a lot I'm of musicians like, don't like it a lot of musicians and it's the same sentiment that unions get is they want to cut of everything you do like if i do this podcast they're they and, and i'm playing guitar on it they're going to want to cut of that and it's like this has nothing to do with that but i'm a musician i'm part of that union it's a job and so you got to break bread with these unions all the time right? well i mean you're, you're just paying like 
Like in that case, it's not like they want to. The, you pay your due, but it's like your dues just fucking. Well, one well, dues you, is you, one thing. You, but, dues is one thing, but yeah, you but, have to but pay I'm them. You, don't, you pay them royalties. You pay them for what you earn. It's not just I make my money and that's it. I have to give them a percentage of every job that I take. If I record a song for an album and I make money off of that, the union gets a percentage of it because I'm doing union work. Mm. The, but the the union takes a percentage, like what is he like the the comparison to like the writer's way. So if they write something, they don't just pay their dues. You're saying they pay a percentage. Yeah, you pay for whatever whatever the, your, your fee was for that, whatever you make. You have to pay into like that union. It's not. Well, I mean, those are dues, though. That's what I'm saying. Dues is different. This is a percentage of the profits that you're making from being a musician. You're working at a studio. You have to pay these people money, way. It's not like you so your your dues is to be the mem part of the member, but then you also have to keep um your, the, the dues from your royalties or whatever. Well, you I mean, still my, have to put no, because I'm saying my, my understanding was like uh, it's yeah, like, ours even where is we are. Different, yeah, no, but I'm saying your dues changed. Your dues changed depending on what you made. The dues is just for me to get that job. That's what the dues. That's what the dues is doing for me. Is, is they're providing work that I can get, but that's that's not but only the, the dues. I guess covers the uh, legal representation. It covers the uh, medical benefits no, and all that. But then, the way they stay surviving is that from the royalties of the the content that the well, that's what I'm saying. Artist I, makes. I don't know if they take part of your royalties. I think it plus plus the the pain is ridiculous. Where you're waiting for your I've, I've heard I've seen professional musicians complain about the, the ancient way that they're paying you. You you have to literally call them all the time to get your money wait. to get your checkacito yeah like you have to it's, it's a, such an ancient system that sometimes musicians get paid six seven months after they do the job where they get a check from time for musicians to strike but bro. We, but that, that you're, that's what I'm saying that, <laughs> that's get from it started, the, get it started Esteban that's from the, the, the company or from like the union you're saying that's from the job that I did oh just that, they, don't, they don't pay me it's not like that way like oh Venmo me fucking ten twenty thousand dollars no it has to go through the yeah, process, process and I get a check from the union but I'm waiting six seven months sometimes to get paid for a job but, oh then you gotta yeah then you gotta find out what the net is because sometimes they have net 30 net mm, 90 well, yeah. but so that's what it is so, and if um, you don't get it at a certain time I'm sure you could uh, as an artist you could be like okay motherfucker next time that you're late you gotta look into the, the bylaws or you gotta look into but it, there's like, politics and everything no, alright well we'll get this guy that doesn't fucking complain about it yeah. but that's what I'm saying like th that's what I was asking about the union because <laughs> but part of the union pues, like por decir, the, the, comparing it to the, like, the writers and these about those is that you said like a rate was like so like if I'm but it, it you know the rate was like so if I'm gonna take this holly from here you're you're gonna pay me a minimum of this ¿me entiendes? and like just like oh, it, say even like the, if you extend it pues to the venue shit okay you're gonna get your cut but this is what you get way this is what you get so I already know what you're getting way I already know what so I don't go to a different venue and the different venue wants more ¿me entiendes? Yeah. I mean también it, it might eliminate the part where the smaller venues fucking take less because, in other words, you, you, you're you setting the standard. So if you set standards across the thing, but I think that maybe, maybe it's too much assumption, but I think that the music boys and musicians are a little more, I'm going to say, individualistic boys, like like a, you you want to hold on mass boys to, to your thing. Cause it's, not, it's not the same as the music. You just, they collaborate on a movie boys and it takes a chingo of people to make things, but your music, you can make it on your own way. So I think that like empowers you and and in a way almost limits you too. But then technology make that like Napster and technology change that because I mean like now you as an artist you don't depend on a on an audio engineer or are fucking booking a, a studio to to record music, right? You can well you you can record it yourself, but yeah. the, definitely the clarity is a, there's a difference and you can tell the difference in sound. Mm -hmm. I mean it'll get you there, but. There's definitely uh, there's definitely um, a subtle difference in the quality of the recording. Mm. Some it might work for some people, but some people it's, it's just you still need to rely on, on somebody else doing it because it, it just makes it easier as a musician. That's like saying an actor could make their own documentary. Why would they want to do that? They want to act. Why would I want to record all my shit? Like I want to just play music. Like that takes up a lot mm -hmm. of time. Like why why, why why I can do it. But why would I want to do that? Uh, I want to spend yeah. my time writing music instead of spending my time editing a song. Like, no, that's that person's job. And I'm perfectly happy paying that person for their time. Oh, okay. 
that's their job they mm. can do it i don't i can do it but i don't want to like this is something that's more professional and, and a lot of people do it they'll do it they, there's people that won grammys and they record it all themselves that's fine that works but for me i, I like to delegate my time a little different where was the auto bro <laughs> <laughs> Probably. No, yeah, yeah, I get what you're saying. You I leave just, it to the specialist, no? Yeah, though? the guy, that, yeah. The, the woman that knows how to do it. Like, they went to school for that and they, they know better than me, even though I can probably do it. But uh, but you're I'm, saying I did that, that. I'm not that, a photographer because I have a phone. And I do uh, it. So because someone told me, tengo buen ojo. Yeah, I mean, I, I <laughs> could put presets and it'll get me there. But these guys go into it more and they tweak it because this is what they study way i mean i could record it i could take a picture but if somebody was to really take a picture they would really set this up and really uh, uh change the the settings on their camera to really adjust to the room that's what they do i mean i could do it but you it, know, i don't, don't want to spend my time doing all that shit i mean we live in a in a world where fucking everybody can call themselves whatever no so, yeah. can call so even that dude that you're saying with the phone is gonna call himself a photographer, a photographer yeah. that dude that fucking recorded his 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 rap fucking demo in his basement was that man's sound engineer yeah. which i which i think that I'm a producer <laughs> which i think <laughs> that, that, that hurts the industry way when when you you pretty much diminish the the what an engineer can do by saying that anybody can record in the room like you're literally these people go to school for that. They earn degrees to record a band. So you're literally saying like, you don't need them. I can do it. So you're diminishing all the work these people did and, and getting, they have student loan debt. They fucking graduated. They spend mm -hmm. the time learning the textbook and you're literally diminishing on that by saying, I can do that or anybody can do mm -hmm. that. Yeah, anybody can do that, but like, can they really do but it? But can they yeah, do it? <laughs> but I mean, I didn't understand this as much now. That I'm not union, I understand a little bit more. Pero también it gets in the way. También has diminishing returns. Pero you know, on the union, they go fucking, you don't do this. Fucking, they don't pay you to do this, so don't do it type of shit. Like everybody has their role. You're the tech this, you're tech that. And those little roles, I think it it kind of, now I think about it, it helps with that too, where that you go, okay, to, this guy put in the effort to learn this extra skill or this and this. He, he, he earned this fucking role. You... Leave it to him, way. Like he gets paid extra for it for a reason, way. Don't even stress out about it. So I, I get that that little division, pues. Like if if you're a real engineer, then you should be a real engineer and make that real engineer money, as opposed to the the basement guy that watched it on YouTube for for two weeks. Of course, way. And people would argue like, no, you can. But the way I see it is, I'm literally taking food from this, this dude or this woman's family. Like, this is what they study for. Why would I? Why would, if it would just save me so much time that they can do what they did and I can do what I want to do, and it just gets a little murky. Way. I mean, obviously, it's still business. And I think that with art, that's what we always forget is that it's still a business at the end of the day. I mean, there's art. There's making movies. There's acting yeah. in movies but at the end of the day it's still a business and i think a lot of us don't pay attention in that course when it comes to business I mean, we're just yeah. like yeah, it'll play itself out somehow and you have to really be smart with the way you do things and i think i don't i mean uh maybe i sounded a little too fucking selfish when i said that we went through it but i just i just don't think that it's bad i think that to get a light you know a little burst of fucking real reality is good for any kind of industry because it makes you think different like wait we've been cruising everything's been fine so this is this is a perfect opportunity to see what am i doing wrong like what can i do better like how can i change this where i take more control over my career and as an actor or actress uh, or people that work in movies writers there's a lot of opportunities that you can get from this way but i think a lot of people just don't want change they want to just stay with the same format and something disrupts it and they get really stressed out so no, i i don't think there's anything bad with it where I, I, I don't think that's what it is though i don't think they're i mean they they, they understand i think they understand change and i think that's why they're striking because they need a new contract mm -hmm. to reflect <gasps> that change that 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 things evolve with and now things from a previous contract don't apply to the world we live in now way like the, that's what i'm saying like then the last time they, they they strike, remember when the fucking this other happened, was when streaming started hitting big. And now that it's fucking streaming's changed even more than that, they just want their contract to reflect that. But so they're trying to keep the the contract up to date with the changes. Where it's not that they don't want it to change. There's things that the that the studio level doesn't want to change. Like you're saying, like the pay, mamada. 
I'm sure they deal with the same mama que no te llega el cheque type of shit, güey. And you had a fucking, hey, ¿dónde está mi cheque? Pero porque dos vatos... Where's my sí, money, fool? Dos vatos, como, si te, como te dice este güey, if it's like net 30, net 60, net 90, they wait those fucking 90 days, yeah. whatever, send you that check, ¿me entiendes? They don't go, oh, shit, we got the money this month, mandaselo. No, 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 no. We're going to wait till the last fucking week that we have to send this shit. Or the last send day, it. as long as it's stamped by that day. ¿Me entiendes? And, and you, even when they tell you this way, you're hopeful, like, whether it's a check or... Or someone sending you some kind of approval letter or something, you, and they say two weeks. You're like, oh, hopefully, hopefully yeah, again in three days, you know? Dude, we should be, we should be, we should do like a Chicano Shuffle Limited, where like, let's just say Esteban is waiting, you know, net ninety, and he yeah. signs up with us, and we're like, hey, we'll front you the money. That's called the fucking what is it called the the, the what's it called the check shit places the, uh, the check the, cashing. <laughs> no, no, no. I think there's actually like companies. Shit. There's actually companies that do that. That like <laughs> yeah, you know. Sued. No, no, no. That they all like pay the per, like the you know the, the check entity or whatever. What like we'll pay you, and they just sign this over. So when the check comes out, it comes to us. <laughs> you know, but there's a percentage. Like hey. Yeah. Chicano show for unlimited, bro. <laughs> Did you just invent that way? <laughs> you sure? No, I didn't. I was just saying we should do that for like, hey, you know what? We'll take care of this. Those are those are predatory <laughs> <laughs> practices because they charge crazy interest rates. No, well, we wouldn't be crazy, you know. Just you know, uh, what's fair is fair. But I I don't know if it's really gonna change the way because it's still. Uh, it's always gonna change though, yeah. Well, I, no, no. What I'm saying is like, I mean, if if it's not, they're not, they're. See, we went to streaming. You don't get anything for streaming, way. It's 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 like um, the industry is not really gonna fold for that way. Like you have to be realistic. Like these people are in the business of making money. They're already making less money when it comes to like people like uh, Netflix and stuff like that. Like they're not gonna they're not gonna like flip just because you want to get paid more. Way like, look at what happened in the music. It's, it's essentially the same kind of industry. Like. I don't feel like these people are really going to flip for these actors because there's always somebody that's hungrier than them. And, and that's the point. And there's always people like like you guys watch a lot of TV. There's always people going to watch it. If, if people came and said, you know, what, we're not watching anything. We're canceling Netflix. We're 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 going to stand behind these fucking actors and actresses. Let's cancel our subscription. Let's, then that's when I think something's going to happen. But mm. the fact that there's still people that are willing to watch it, there's still actors and actresses that are saying, yeah, you sound really snobby, dude. Look how rich you are. I'll do it that there's still those people and then that's what hurts the industry because there's always somebody that's going to do it for cheaper there's always a company that's going to make money regardless of what people strike on and there's always going to be consumers that are going to watch content no matter what happens because if if people really cared about actors and actresses they would completely boycott everything until they get what they want but obviously who's going to want to stop watch tv because so, so but, i take it this is a note to oppenheimer in the week <laughs> <laughs> no i'm just i'm just talking about uh, but, I mean, that, uh, the business sense of it yeah. but I mean, i'm saying that that that's the the misconception people always have we could get these rich people fucking one more way like they're most of the, the the actors and writers were aren't rich people. Way when I'm in r rich people, I was I was talking about mostly like the institutions, like the mm. the companies that have a lot of money. They're not going to be willing to the lose. movie studios. They're not going to be willing to lose. They're already losing a lot of money way with the streaming platforms. They're not. They're going to do everything they can to make it seem like they're getting a good deal, but but. But you're you're literally like like the UPS thing. Every, people are okay with full time people. Like that's good. They're making more money. But then you literally highlighted that part time, and now everything's fucked. So that's what we have to understand that it's never an ideal situation. Like yeah. it's it, it even if it, to your standards the actors get what they want, you're gonna fuck a whole ton of people over in the process to for in order for this small bunch to be happy. And I don't know if. If the juice is worth the squeeze, when uh, when the, like the the I mean the juice the negotiations are negotiations, pues. You always have a that's the bill too. Like with the part timers on the UPS, I think they wanted, I think they wanted twenty five dollars way, and then the contract right now they got twenty one, right? So like we need twenty five to make a living. I mean you're not gonna get what you want, and people in different parts of like the the chain get get fucking asked out. Like in that one, I think the the part timers probably feel like like they're getting asked out. And the smaller workforce, which is the the forty dollars plus that you're talking about, they're they're doing better, you know. But like the 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 streamers and all these mamas, they're losing money because of like like uh, 
like crazy fucking mamadas, way. Look how many times fucking like the HBO one has changed their name, way. Now, fucking they 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 settled on a stupid name like Max, ¿me entiendes? And they've made people jump through fucking hoops three or four times just changing. They've made they make stupid decisions, but it, the content everybody agrees like TV and the streaming shows are now to debatable, but but are better than like the the movies, you know. So they have good content, way. It's just they make weird decisions, way, and then most of them, <coughs> they, they're not like losing as. They, a lot of them are making record profits. Even the the Netflix thing, that decision they made to, to cut off the sharing, ya salió otro pinche little report that they put out to the to their investors that that they're fucking starting to make chingon profits again because now their subscriptions are back up, way. Like people that fucking got cut off are now like fucking biting the bullet yeah, to like, pay the, the the subscription again. So their their numbers are starting to grow again, way. So it's working in their favor. I mean, there's so, gonna with the with the streaming, it's gonna be almost like remember. Oh, well, I don't know if you guys remember, but I don't know if you knew this. Back in the days, movie. Uh, if you were an actor, you signed in with a movie studio, and you were only allowed to do movies with that mm-hmm. studio, like the Televisa. Um, yeah. Mm. But like they used to be like the Marilyn Monroe's. Yeah, the, like the Marilyn Monroe's back in the days they were only like if you were where RKO, that's who you only did movies with. If you were MGM, you only did movies with them. Like if you had a deal, you had, you had yeah. a, a five movie deal where you can't do movies anywhere else. Anywhere right? else. So when the streaming came in, then some of the studios were kind of like um, kind of nervous because now you have top line actors or an actresses going to Netflix or going to Prime or doing shows for Prime instead of doing for the movie studios or the like uh, the network TV. Yeah. You know, so that right there, it kind of like, you know, they kind of shook the industry in a way because they're like, oh, now, uh, now an actor, you could say like, oh, fuck, I, you know what? I don't want to do a movie with Universal. Fucking over here, fucking Hulu is hitting me up for a fucking, this movie, this is what I'm going to get paid. Fuck, it makes better. I got better perks. Fucking let me go do it with them. Yeah. So it kind of shakes and it And more up. people are going to see it. Yeah. To be honest. So then the movie studios now are like, okay, now we got to get these people back because they got to make a movie for us. Yeah. And then and in the process is that they start fucking over. In order to be able to pay those prices or whatever, then now they start cutting corners or, or fucking over writers or fucking over production or fucking over this because they're like, okay, well, we got to we gotta keep this entity or this actor or this person doing movies with us or doing shows with us. Yeah. You know, so it kind of, I think that kind of what happened is shook up and it kind of forced these bigger sharks or these bigger companies to fucking make changes. And now fucking the writers and everybody's like, "Eh, eh, eh, I don't like this, you know? Yeah. Yeah, If you want to keep up, then fucking do it this way, but don't affect everybody else. Mm. Well, you know, so maybe I think that might have something to do with it. I'm, I'm again, I'm not no expert. I'm not. No, I mean it's it's not an easy topic to talk about because mm. we don't really. I We're, mean, we 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 know less than what we know. Like, yeah. there's a lot of behind the scenes things that we have no access to, so we don't really know exactly what what the problem is. I mean, we can we can speculate from the outside and and we can comment on it, but we literally don't have like details on what's really happening beca- behind closed doors and wh- where these people are meeting, but. I mean, I do. I do think that when I said earlier about um, companies not like Fernando said that subscriptions are up and people Netflix and stuff like that. What I meant with people with companies losing money, I wasn't talking about like the Netflix. I was talking about like Universal and and these mo- these these companies that that uh, that produce like like movies, right? Mm-hmm. Like. Um, 20th Century Fox or whatever. I'm I'm not really sure who yeah. the big ones are still. I think those people lose money. Like the streamers. I mean, those guys obviously they make a lot of money, man. But but it's um I don't know if 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 these industries are going to be able to. <clears throat> essentially, I think they're trying to compete with Netflix and shit, right? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're competing with the streaming channels or yeah. the streaming companies. They definitely are because you know you got Sony, you got all of these that like they they're established and they got fucking years <clears throat> making all of this and then you got you know streaming companies coming up and they're nabbing up all your your talent and they're like paying them and they're giving them more freedom more more control more perks you can let you so now you're like oh fuck now i gotta adapt to this shit yeah you know so yeah. that i guess and then the process that's when they start fucking over the other departments or the other um um i'm, I'm not gonna say yeah, other departments in order to be able to keep up with this. So I think part of it is like, okay, yeah, because um, I'm thinking the bigger studios are like, okay, we need to go to CGI because it cuts our cost. 
you know, well, it, it cuts our, you know, we don't have to pay these writers this much because, you know, boom, we just, this is, we'll hire, we'll keep a couple of people in because we still need people to fucking type in the stuff or put in the things that we want, but we're not going to need, you know, 300 writers. Maybe we could use 50 of them. Yeah. You know, and now they're using this. So that's why, like, that's why they're, you know, I guess the writers are striking. They're like, nah, ni madres. Yeah. Nope. This is going to have to go into the contract. You know, you can't fucking just do this or do that. And that's why they're striking. And then the actors are like, ah, fuck yeah. And then, and then you start finding out like, whoa, 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 whoa. They're going to start using CGI or AI or whatever it is to fucking to use our image one time, you know, for one, you know, they pay us for one time and they could use it endlessly. No, that's not fair. That's one of the aspects of it. I know there's more was, to it. That was in the, one of the first little iterations yeah, of the I'm contract sure there's, offered. There's more to but it. El, el, no, el pedo, part of the big pedo is the, the streaming way. It's like, like we're saying that the industry evolves way and the streaming, since they don't report numbers way, they pay you, they pay you like, they manda el chequecito, but you don't know how many times it's been viewed way. So are they paying you accurately? But you don't, you have no idea way. So if you have a hit show, there's people that have hit shows way. There's one lady that I saw their interview and también que she she listed like her like a writer. She listed like her little credentials like in the last year way, and she had fucking and one of them was like a pretty big show, like a hit show. No me acuerdo exactamente cuál era. This is like a few weeks ago I saw this, but she goes yeah way. So in January I had fucking had good holiday. March she goes in March I had a fucking hit show. She goes by December. I was driving for fucking Uber way. Mm. So she had a hit show, pero porque the the, the, the hit show was on, uh, I think, on Netflix way. But that chicasita pues, that they, they pay on the first time, and then your residuals aren't like the old days way, where we're showing it on TV fucking, and we pay you this time, this much. This, ellos no más te mandan un chicasito fucking for $150, y ahí está, and you go, well, for how many views is this? For what? You don't know shit, pues. Mm. Pero it's not the, your, the, that chicasito from what, what it was before, from like TV, is it antes they mandaban fucking thousands of dollars when they got a chequecito for, for your royalties on the reruns and shit. Y ahora nomás te llega un chequecito, but you don't know, like, que, que pedo, like how, how, I got I have a hit show, pues, and this is not reflecting that the show's a hit way. Mm. And then, so so that, that, that that's the pedo that they're having, because they, the industry is changing. <clears throat> But it's not reflecting in lo que me están pagando. Please. You know what? Fucking, I'm going to have to side with Esteban on this one. Like, they, these, these people need to go talk to the musicians because musicians used to fucking get paid by CDs or albums. <laughs> or, yeah, we get, or, we or, get or, cents. Or, or what you might call it, um, fucking physical concerts and all this. But now, fucking Spotify, I could be listening to the same song over and over and over, and I'm not paying for that album. Of course you're not. And 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 for, if we have a hit song, people think that uh, I could still be working at fucking Uber Lyft yeah, with a yeah. hit song. Like, that doesn't mean anything in the music world. It doesn't mean that, that you, you, I forgot off the top of my head how much you make, wait, but you guys would fucking laugh. Fractions of pennies, yeah. You guys would laugh at how many millions of, so this this person that's a writer on the show, I mean. Uh, but that's what I'm saying. Go you talk to a musician. You can't, <laughs> but I'm saying that you, those are, you can't compare the two like that way because it's not, it's not the same. También the, the, the Spotify, not that I know exactly how it works, boy, pero they'll, they'll tell you, you, you have this many listens, here's your 25 cents. So the rate fucking sucks, pero te dicen más o menos, hey, you're getting point zero 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 two five cents for for per play way, and they'll tell you, oh, you got forty thousand plays. Here's your fucking forty five cents. Shit, forty five cents is loud. I know it's, yeah. it, it's shitty as fuck, but I'm saying if there was a union, pues that regulated, they would, which I'm saying with the musician, I don't think it can. I don't. I don't see how it can happen. Like if really I get way. to live to like three hundred and seven years old, ya la hice. But if there was a way like <laughs> this, this fucking que, money, que, que se juntaban and everybody goes, no, sabes qué? That is bullshit way. Per play, we want this much, and then obviamente you're not gonna get. What is it? We want fifty cents per play. They're gonna go no, and then negocia and do your mamadas, and you end up at twenty cents. But even those twenty cents is better than that point zero zero. Zero two five or whatever the mama una mama así que está now no something it, stupid or ridiculous way. is that I mean the seven the reason why like all these older or established bands like let's just say um fucking Metallica they haven't come out with a new album because no les no les conviene well they just they're touring their new album right? <laughs> oh they got a new album yeah. oh shit yeah they're touring oh, well, their new I album. use the wrong let's just say fucking I don't know um. Uh, Smashing Pumpkins, you know? They're still they're writing touring music. Too. They're touring, but they're touring. But they're still doing. writing music. Are they? Everybody, oh, I mean, shit. most of these guys are the only people like the Rolling Stones, people like that, they're not writing anymore. Like, oh, yeah. But 
it's because the money. I mean, this is the thing: is like the, the actors are getting a reality check. Wait, this is what it is. This is technology. Uh-huh. Like musicians figure out, like okay, it's not gonna change. Like this is an industry. How do we make more money? Like we just took plays as a loss. Like we took that as a loss. Album sales is a loss. We see album sales as promotion. We see it as PR. You listen to my song a hundred thousand times. I don't make money off of it, but guess what? You're gonna go to my show, and that's where I'm gonna make money off of you. And I'm gonna wait to that fucking the end of the fucking concert so, to play that song. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, so I'm saying that. I'm saying. So what's the equivalent? If I was a writer for TV, wait, what's my equivalent to to doing a show? Like doing a live show, I don't have that option. Way my I write TV way. Well, writing you can write it. You you don't have to just write TV. You can literally write your own thing and something else. I mean, they they're gonna have to get out of their asses. No, that's I what I'm mean, saying. They're gonna have to, they, have to yeah, figure they, out they, something. Writers need people need writers all over the fucking. No, place. no, my, but my, I'm saying my 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 forte way, my strength is I'm good at writing TV shows way. Yeah, you're, like you're, I, I can write a novel. You're comfortable. No, like you're, but you're that's com- what I'm You want to stay doing. Yeah, you don't want to evolve. You don't want to. So you're you don't saying wanna, get multiple jobs, type of shit. That's what we all do, way. Eh? But that's uh, but we. But the point. Of, what I'm saying is, and there's and this it's pretty lucrative way. Like we 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 lost the Spotify's. What literally what they're arguing about is is they they need percentage of the plays. We lost that, but we figure out a way to use that to our advantage and say, Spotify and streaming is a it's a platform that's that's promoting my music. Yeah. I'm gonna bring them here, and this is where I'm gonna make money off of them. And so we did that with the music way. I mean, I, you you can say like that that person writes for that show. That's that's their forte or whatever you said. That's fine, dude. But you have to evolve. This is there's people that are hungrier than you. If you're not gonna evolve. And, and and figure out how you're gonna you're gonna be able to to sustain yourself writing mm-hmm. even if it's a different form. There's somebody that that's just as hungry as you oh, that's gonna be more open minded than you. That's gonna say, you know what, I can write for this show. I'll get the connections that I want, and and I can also do this on the side. That's gonna help me amplify more than just writing for a fucking show. I mean, these people are gonna have to adapt, boy. I, I don't, I don't think they're equivalent. Way I don't know. If, no, no, I mean they're gonna agree with that. I'm not saying they're equivalent. No, they have to figure something out. I'm well, saying, but I'm saying, but if 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 I it goes back to like what I'm saying, like if I write just like you write a, a certain type of music, and that I I don't, I don't know if you would say that's my strength, way because you've said I, I can play anything fucking at this point, right? But there's not that other option. Like if I do this, like if I write for TV way, sure, okay, I can go go write for movies. I'm still in the same industry. If I if I want to write anything that I'm good at with TV or something film or all that's it's in an entertainment industry, wait, oh, I have to go talk to the same people, way. Then I don't have an avenue where where I'm gonna write something, just go read it, and people are gonna pay me. For, but you're just saying to read that it. there are issues with the streamers. That's that the, the streaming companies. That's yeah. what they have an issue with. Right for the uh, ancient Hollywood. If you want to keep fuck it, right for podcasts. Like stay, cool. stay away from Netflix. Okay, like these okay pe- stay away from Netflix. Okay, but what are the other ones? All the other ones have their own streaming. All the other streamings, as you can mention, are owned by one of these entertainment companies. The only one that I can think of right now that stands out is Netflix. Netflix is so completely owned entity, a token own studio, todo el madre. Pero cuál otro? Sometimes you get good at the wrong thing, bro, and it doesn't fucking. <laughs> stick. But it, dude, yeah. it's a modern society. Like what? What? Like people used to used used to have to go to school. It was a. It was a. There was a when the nineteenth century started to make hats. Was one of those things yeah. where you needed school. You needed school to make a fucking hat. It was a craftsman. Thing. So you, so you spend years going to school. Not if you wanted to make a hat, there was some monopoly in that industry that you couldn't fucking just sell a hat. You needed to go to school. So what happens when, when things start modernizing, like that didn't become a thing. So you spend your whole time working on a hat and then there's going to be a certain point where you spend so much time on that, but technology or, or society now doesn't value that as much and you want to keep doing hats but society's telling you that no this isn't valued as much as it was before so what is that person doing hat gonna do are they are they gonna say are they gonna adapt to the new form of, of reality or are they gonna just be bitter and, and think that they need to stay the way they were i mean obviously you know you have to adapt way. that's what i'm saying like but but that that's where there's a misconception way like Society doesn't value their job any less. If if anything, I would say they value it even more. Because like I said, they, everybody will agree that TV, like the, the, what we call TV way, like the shows and those, are better way than they were fucking, only even 
10, 15 years ago, no? Yeah. Like the, people view TV as, and, and that's because of writing way. So I'm saying, so like their, their thing has not been valued any less. It's actually valued more. People make more money off what they, what they write or what these actors create or what these directors create. There's more money made way. They just don't see a part of it that way. Like the more of it goes, because now we live in the in in a country where well, I'm just I don't live in another country where these vatos. I mean, the CEOs obviously their job is not to make great content way. The great content is to make fucking money way for the investors, and their duty legally is to make money for those investors to maximize the the money for the investors. Because if you're losing money, then you're not you're not doing your job. Their job is not. The actual content, the contents to make the money. So their their view is completely different. But that doesn't mean what they're selling isn't viewed. It, it's not a value less way. So the people making that are making stuff people want way. People are making paying hand over fist way fucking. Well, it's, it's, it's that the person that would make hats, that was a specific trait became that anybody can make hat. There, there's a lot of writers that would love to have that position, no matter what the contract says. There's a lot more writers. There's a lot more people that can write great stories. There's a lot more storytellers. So it's 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 not only that people value it, but it's also that there's somebody that is willing to do it to get that opportunity. And that creates a problem because, you know, maybe are you happy with the UPS contract that they negotiated? Are you happy with the outcome? I don't. I don't work at UPS. It seemed good to me, but the more you read about it, it's kind of so that's, menos. But that's what I'm menos. saying. So we're happy with a certain amount of people making up, while most people get fucked by the new contracts that are get implemented. But we're perfectly happy with that. Like if if something changes where 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 these contracts for these writers change. You're going to accommodate a certain amount of people, but you have no idea how many people are going to get fucked because of these new contracts that get negotiated. Like literally it turns into a monopoly where these people that are in like are that's in, this yeah. is what happened with that. Like yeah. you, you can't get like you, you, you literally turn people's wages into a monopoly that anybody that comes in cannot have access to that because of these people that I can guarantee you that most of these UPS drivers don't give a shit about the part-time people because they're happy with what they got. So if it's some kind of union, if it's some kind of like workers fighting together, why are these people settled for that pay and not say, no, we're not, we're not done till our brothers and sisters that are part-time until they get what they want too, because we don't think like that. We're selfish. So these guys in UPS are like, 49 fuck yeah who gives a shit about part time and so i feel like when 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 you start when you start doing things like this you're accommodating a small percentage of people but you're literally the the effects of it are far worse a lot of the times than what the outcome is that people are happy with i mean if 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 like i said if people are really interested in it and they're really for writers cancel your subscriptions stop watching tv be, be behind them but no the majority of people that you talk to are like oh fuck now stranger things is gonna be fucking delayed, yeah so yeah. this is people's they, 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 so they people don't are pissed so, that so, all the marble shit got delayed. so they don't give a fuck about writers how great writers are because they know that somebody's willing to do that job they want their show when they want it this is what people worry about yeah. and i get that writers are fighting for their their future or their pay but i feel like you exclude so many you fuck so many well, people by accommodating a, a small percentage of people but i mean that the, there's there's a few problems there kid like the the contract but you see the ups when, when you look at it even like from an outside perspective it's not that you're fucking over a bunch of people they're the big the majority pues of the workforce is not getting what they want the the, the top pues percent like in a lot of fucking like you're saying you're exactly right we, we always end up someone always gets the better end of the stick but their contract isn't worse. It's better. It's not where it should be. Depends on who you talk to, right? I mean, it's... Well, it's, no, no. Yeah. They, they view it as not good enough. It's not worse, is what I'm saying. But it's worse for part-time people. No, no, no. I'm saying it's not worse. You're making... Your starting pay is now higher. It goes from 15... I think it's 15 to 21. That you, is not worse. You, you're, you're saying that somebody coming in is going to be making the same as somebody that's been working there I, for. I, I, and I don't see a problem with that. But I'm, what I'm saying is, it's going from 15 to 21. They wanted 25. They, it's like you're saying, I need 25 to pay all my bills. Like it's a negotiation. They didn't get that. Should they have gotten 23? Should they have fought for 23, 24, closer to 25? Probably. And and that's the majority of the workforce, so I get it, way, but it's not worse. So anytime there's a, a, well, not anytime, most of the time, 
whatever you get is always better way with uh, with the with the union negotiate the, like the union strikes y todo esto es madre. not always what it should be not always at the high end most of the time it's on the lower end but it's it's almost never like worse Entiendes? I feel like it's who you talk to, way. Because I mean, I'm feeling, I feel like has you're, a point of view. Uh, that's what I'm saying. But this is a huge organization. Like you're saying that it's not worse or uh, than it was before. But that's depending on who you talk to, way. Because if you've been working there for five, six years, and somebody comes in and makes the same, I mean, talk to them to see if it's worse. Like they're but gonna th feel. That's what I'm saying. That 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 goes to that mentality, way. Like we're like exactly like you're saying that it's a personal thing. When it, it's not a personal thing, that's part of the union, and you're a collective way. You're you're one. You, you're negotiating as one unit way. So it's not just about you way. Yeah, you have your own set of <gasps> difficulties and your own set of bills, and you have to be at a certain place. But that doesn't apply to the whole group, man. In this, so like even if I had four years and I, I me, I'm talking about me way. If I had four years and I, and I was at that, that that pay already, and the guy hired on comes in at that pay, then I mean, good for him way. Like mm -hmm. chingon, way like <laughs> we, where we worked. También había sentiment. Yeah. Cuando yo entré, they like they they bring you in depending on the scale way and your experience <laughs> type of mamadas. They can bring you in in the scale wherever they want it, way depending on your supposed experience. No, yo entré one step under under the thing, and then by the time even by the time I finished my probation, I was topped out. There was dudes there that they said, "Hey, wait, fucking how much you making?" You know, he says, "Just go, the fuck, bro." I'm still fucking way down here at this, and I, and I go, I was, I've been here fucking two years longer than you. I go, ¿Qué quieres que te diga, güey? Fucking, that's where they put me with my experience or whatever, this madre. But I, I, that's what I'm saying. So, like, at this point, that person would be brought up to 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 those $21, pues. So, if you're making those, so, también the vatos that were there that are fucking at 16, 17, they get kicked up to, to 21. I mean, a, a good sign of a good business deal is when both parties are happy. Where, right? so no, yeah, that, that's, yeah. that's 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 yeah, but I don't know if that's, that's gonna happen. I think it's the opposite when both parties when no one's happy. Right? No, that's that's ridiculous, dude. You have to see. There's always a certain group of people that make out with certain fucking situations, and that's that's what I think sucks. Way that these people are like, yeah, 49, I'm good. Yeah, these people, let's move on. We're happy, but if not everybody's happy, I don't understand what the point of changing something is. You you want if this is seriously a brotherhood, if it's brothers and sisters, and and this is what you work for as a group, then I feel like if if people aren't happy, if the majority aren't happy, then it's a failed negotiation. Well, way. that that's why they get a vote. That's why they, they, I mean, by the time this comes out, I think they already voted, right? But that's yeah. why you get a vote, way. Right? So, like, in a, in a union, they do the contract, and it's not like that they, they go, this is a good contract, we're signing it. Sas, se hizo armó. It goes to a vote. So the majority have to vote it in, way. Right? Yeah, but if, if... And like I'm saying, those vatos that make the 40 that you're talking about do not make the majority. Yeah, but this is what I'm saying, Fernando. In, in a business decision, if both parties are not happy, this is a failed fucking. This is a failed business transaction. A, 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 a quality of a good business transaction is that both parties think that they got ahead of the other person. That's what a good business that's, transaction. That, and, is. and that that's why there's a saying that says, in a good fucking negotiation, both parties, no one's happy, because that means. Both of us had to give something up that we didn't want to give up. No, you think that you got ahead of the other person and the other person thinks that they got ahead of you. That's a sign of a good business transaction. If you sell your home and somebody thinks I made out with this house, but the other side is, dude, this guy's fucking paying. That's a sign of a good business yeah, transaction. No. So we're you're, that you're both happy. I think it's the same thing, yeah, only just saying. different. Yeah, different wording. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's a, I think so in the same thing because, yeah, I, I see what you're saying, but I mean, entiendo lo que dice Fernando. Well, I mean, I was just saying that the the saying, the saying, like the, the, there's a saying, there's a phrase that mm -hmm. people say that a good a good deal is when no one comes, no one walks away happy. But you're not. That, this is not, that's not what I'm saying. We're saying different things because I'm happy that you paid me for what I got for this house, and you're happy that you got this house for this price. I'm not saying that I'm not happy. Why would I not be happy? I, I feel like I made more money than I should off of you. I'm happy, and you're happy because you feel like you got a steal on this house. Pero si, si, si los estamos viendo, and we're both happy, we're both gonna wonder, wait. So what did I leave on the table? If you're not smart with business, yeah, of course. But if you're a savvy business person, you understand that that's a dynamic of a business transaction. Mm. I, I, it, it, I think same thing, different. Yeah, it's just, just flip. Yeah, different. Yeah, because 
Yeah, I mean, uh, we could get into this, but yeah, ya nos pasamos, ya nos pasamos, ya nos pasamos del tiempo. Ya se durmió Ramón, güey. No, 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 I'm listening back and forth. I mean, I had a, I, I had a couple to jump in there, but you guys were on a roll. Not too chido, güey. Yeah, but, well, and I guess I'm going to have to save, I got a couple of good stories, but I have to save, save them for next week. Ah, te los grabamos aparte, güey, no hay pedo. Oh, yeah, yeah. We have that option now, güey. Yeah, we got that option. All right, Rosa, well, it's, ponle la música, güey. Oh shit! Damn, man. Here we go. Let's. That wasn't in my contract way, so. Oh, so I'm no, gonna need a, a, a not a per diem. What is it called? The. Yeah. A, that's a, a that's differential. A, yeah, well, you know, that's not in the contract, but I mean, that's why you lose your pension too. So it's a fair, why, it's a fair, my, it's a fair trade. That's why my pension's twenty five bolas. <laughs> twenty five bolas, eh? <laughs> Con I'm talco a, or what? I'm gonna bring that back. That's twenty bolas. <laughs> <laughs> Cuánto? Twenty bolas? Mira, meco, te calmas. <laughs> <laughs> wow, pinches bring back Mecco. That one's a little risky. Uh, All right, Rosa. Well, thank you for tuning in. Um, yeah, we had some laughs, but we have more, more dialogue, more conversation, different topics. And um, hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, thank you for the support. Thank you for sharing the podcast. And uh, just know that uh, Chicano Shuffle will be entering negotiations too. So, a ver qué pasa. Oh, ya viene ese tiempo, güey. Ya viene ese tiempo. Who knows when, but it's 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 coming. In September, when? Yeah. So we got uh, negotiations coming up. Yeah, middle. We're gonna hit what episode? Uh, three hundred? Huh? We're coming up to the three hundred episode already. También. Yeah. Fuck. I forgot que te emocionas with the hundreds. Uh, I like them. They're milestones, bro. They're little milestones. And shit. But again, thank you for everybody that that enjoys our podcast and our little dog and pony show. Uh, anything, Fernando? Anything new before we sign so, off? No. Know. As Steves, you said last week that you were gonna you mention something, something this week. week. Oh shit! Well, well, you do that. Like, just want to say, um, don't forget to support our sponsors. We got Firma Mezcal, Manscape, uh, House of Chingazos, Estasa Coffee, and also don't forget to listen to the other podcasts under the My Grito um, umbrella. We got uh, Emo Brown. We got um, the Mind Buzz. We also have uh, Pop and Lock, West Coast Pop and Lock. And then they had uh, Tragos Amargos, right? That was a new one, right? Yeah, that was a new yeah. one. Tragos Amargos podcast. Check them all out under My Grito. If you're not following My Grito for the updates or to see what's going on. Or, to send, you, or to send your complaints. Yeah, what the fuck are you waiting for? Fuck, uh, the jefes love hearing complaints. Dude, they, send them all your complaints. Yeah, fuck yeah, dude. They, they love it. They, they have like a, a whiteboard where everything, you know, shows up. If you don't like Ramon's voices, let my grito know. Yeah. <laughs> you fucking, I heard that people, I mean, it's not on the, it's not as popular, but they want to get rid of the theme, so. No, actually, fucking the theme came out on top where they wanted, they wanted to stay. 52% is not what I wanted, but. Uh. I mean, they, they, more people wanted an update than not. The, 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 the fucking put it to bed was very small. Oh, uh, okay. All right. Steps. No, I just want to tell people we have a show coming up August 4th, which is this Friday at uh, Inventura. So if you guys are out there, we're going to be playing at this place called Wave Ventura, which I think is like some kind of art gallery. Oh, shit. It's a free event. There's going to be vendors and stuff like that. So DJ and um, it's going to be a good time. The address is 175 South Ventura Avenue in Ventura, California. 93001 so if you guys are out there come check it out you will gotta, there be snacks yeah there's gonna be food <laughs> all right all right <laughs> will you be, would, would you be taking pictures with uh listeners uh yeah of course all right all right yeah, only if they're real photographers uh, there you go no 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 i don't want no, no poser <laughs> photographers taking pictures <laughs> with a polaroid camera account <laughs> <laughs> Mar maria takes pictures yeah she, maybe she can take all your pictures with. fuck yeah um Esteban, would you be flicking out your pick in the middle of a set uh maybe all right, maybe. All right. Do, maybe. You, do you accept flying chonies <laughs> uh, or, or <laughs> depends depends on the size on the the gender wow. of, the, of the person wearing wow. them wow okay. <laughs> Delicado, you take them? No. Oh, fuck, delicado, I got a, I got the uh, boxer no, Why would I want a bunch of talco up in the air? <laughs> it's gonna look like you have a smoke, smoke machine. Wing. There we go. To the fact. Yeah, to the point. 
<laughs> sí, cierto, está cabrón, güey. Te va a pegar en la cara, te va a desmayar, güey. I don't want to people think that I'm doing coke, güey. A little residue stays in my mustache, bro. <laughs> no, but cuando te pegue, va a ser like plaster, güey, because of all the sweat. <laughs> oh, shit. Knock your ass out in the middle of a set. ¿Qué vas a parar? Es el pinche masa, güey. Por eso, who hit me? What the fuck was that? Fuck you, Ramón. I know you're in there somewhere. Who's stiff ass chonies were those? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, and Raza, este viernes, agosto 4, en Ventura. Uh, Stez will be there Fucking taking pictures Autographs Throwing his pics Fucking There va a haber snacks And um, Some Maria Sanchez jams Yeah Some Maria Sanchez jams eh? So Stay fresh Drink water Hydrate Don't forget If you got any complaints Send us directly to My Grito Alright uh, Yeah Yeah We don't I don't want to hear them anymore I don't want to see them Send them to them Right, uh, Oscar loves him. He really fucking thrives on it. He reads everyone. Every single, and he replies to every single one, no matter what. There is no stupid comments, questions, or or sayings. All right, he loves it all. So send it to him. He loves the attention. Yeah, he's an attention whore. That guy. I you know, I wish uh, Rob would be like that, but Rob is the the, the man. Being, he's a businessman. Yeah, Oscar. Oscar's a pinche. And Rob's got better things to do. Yeah. Oscar's el metiche, el chismoso. All right? So, fuck yeah. Send it to him. <laughs> it's fucked up, but yeah. Hi, boss. Hi, <laughs> Missed me, right? <laughs> All right. So, con eso, nos despedimos. A ratos with that, eh? Some talco, bro. I got some in the, in the back over there. Uh, I, I like to keep the cancer in check. All right. Well, no, but I'm gonna get you spent. Trying to kill me <laughs> prematurely, bro. <laughs> okay. I got shit to do, eh? <laughs> <laughs>